This episode features brief content related to a succubus's charm ability that may be considered intense or uncomfortable to some viewers. Though not a core intention of our games, the DMS table is comfortable with the content in context, and players were checked in with afterwards to reaffirm these boundaries. Though this is the nature of including creatures like this in our game, if you are uncomfortable with predatory behavior, we encourage you to skip the content between 1 hour and 41 minutes and 1 hour 50 minutes. Thank you very much for watching. And welcome back to Devil's Might Surrender. You're here with Net 19! And we just got 500 <laughs> heckin' gosh darn bits. Hell yeah. That's nice. real cool. Thanks for those bits. <laughs> it's session seven! That's the one on the screen. And you may have noticed, people watching from home, that it is a rainbow on screen. Because happy yeah. pride! Oh my god! Happy Pride Month! Uh, Logan, whenever you said there was a rainbow on screen, a big crack plate. <laughs> you, have, you may have noticed there is a rainbow! I, did, I didn't notice the lightning, but I heard the freaking murder. rumbling. I'm like, oh god! Players, <laughs> there has been a murder. Game on the way. I will say, because... I will say because no one tried to do or say anything during like the silent bit of the countdown. I was about to be just like, is it started yet? But thankfully I waited like a second. Because <laughs> I was almost going to be the one that ruined it. <laughs> Alrighty. Gosh darn. No, I make sure to get a penis. It's fine. <laughs> oh, but yeah, I can... Welcome back. We missed a month. Uh, well, we missed uh, us game. But if we do that, it ends up, you know, taking us a month. So... We're back. Unfortunately, Princes is now outpacing Devil's Might Surrender, so I'm gonna have to find a way to sabotage one of Aaron's games so I can catch up. This matters to me. <laughs> I'll just put a door or something in front of you guys, and it'll fucking be a session. <laughs> but it'll still count as a number. It'll, yeah. That's uh, not the I point. Think, I don't know, shoot me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll do there that. There will never be another. <laughs> hey, it'll get, it'll get him out of jury, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Y'all, I can't participate in this juror selection as I've been shot in the chest. <laughs> <laughs> and then someone I else from Nat 19 is going to have you open the jury duty for Logan. <laughs> Still holding the wound with a cowboy hat because I'm talking in this accent and I'm sticking <laughs> <Yeah>. to it. <laughs> we, <laughs> like, sir, why are you talking like that? We shoot Aaron the, just before he's supposed to run Princes and we can't do it. And I'm like, haha, it's gonna catch up. And then we're prepping for DMS the next week. And I'm like, I'll be back one sec, guys. I gotta go get a drink, go downstairs. You just hear a bang from downstairs and I come up <laughs> and I'm like, you guys are not gonna believe what just happened. Right. Uh, <laughs> so I'm like, shot you, huh? <laughs> <laughs> did did someone shoot you? <laughs> How'd you guess? Oh <laughs> uh, goodness. Um, but yeah, we're let's see who's going to uh, recap what happened last time, which is basically just going to involve someone being like chaos bolt repeatedly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's gonna be Hayden. I fucking knew it. <laughs> so. I couldn't fucking hit anything! <laughs> it's what fucking Two. happened! Two! Fucking, where's my notes? Oh, Jesus Christ. Alright, so, Marile and Briar fucked. It was a good time. For them. It was awkward for the rest of us. Uh, we got a van and didn't kill this fucking ball thing. It was on fire. It was a whole time. It was, it was a bunch of balls, says Emmanuel. Uh, fucking, uh, we got a van, and then we parked it, and then we fought some chill haunts and some other shit. And it turns out, the chill haunts, wait for it, healed by fire. And so you want, you want to know what Emmanuel did? He hit them with chaos bolts, and you know it kind of damaged it did? Fire. You want to know what that did? It fucking healed them fully. And, it cr and they were crits. And yeah, they were crit, mm -hmm. so what could have been damaged? It just fucking healed them. Thanks, Emmanuel. Really appreciate that. I didn't and know then... you could crit on a heel. Yeah, it turns out you fucking can! <laughs> <laughs> so it's been doing this the whole time. It's, you know, chaos full happened, and then fucking figured he like, couldn't hit anything, and then Alden tried to fucking kill himself, basically, because he's like, all right, four hit points. This is fine. I'm going to roll a D4, and we'll see how that goes. And then we met Marley's boss, and he's 
he's cool, I guess. Yeah. That's what happens. <laughs> the chaos bolt thing happened twice. It so fucking did! <laughs> and I just now got over the crits. trauma of last They were game, both crits. It's, it's, all, it's all back. Did it happen three times, <laughs> three effectively? Three bounces? Yeah. The first one crit and healed and bounced. The second one didn't, and the third one healed, uh, bounced and missed. Right. Yep. Oh, goodness. Yeah, to be specific, you guys ended up... You fought uh, a flaming bull demon at a car lot when you guys were trying to find transportation. Uh, you fought it for a bit. It broke most of the vehicles there, and then it escaped, running towards the direction of uh, Mount Yama. After that happened, you guys got a van, traveled for a while, uh, dealt with uh, Veilfar walking over the top of you, uh, conspicuously but not noticing you, then continued onwards towards, um, towards Marile's work, and you guys got into an encounter with a whole bunch of demons and such that ambushed you in the streets, dropped pieces of a crane on you, uh, you bumped into Marile's boss Gilligan, Gilligan Don McBraskerton, to be specific, who is a Tanaruk demon, a very large, uh, demonic orc who was, uh, pilfering space heaters from local department stores. After some shenanigans and a totally straightforward, not at all too drawn out on account of the massive healing fight, you guys made your way, uh, with his invitation towards Marile's work. And I believe that's everything. Anybody think of anything else? Pivotal that happened last time, and Theo wants to die, according to Theo. <laughs> <laughs> we put, we put hey, 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 you guys, hey, you guys fight a giant bull man? Only well, I was getting my back blown out. Fun, or should have known that. <laughs> <laughs> we put manacles on a manual. Anybody hear me? Yep. Yep. Okay, just want to make sure. I was so scared. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, did you guys fight a giant angie flame bull? We did. Yeah, we talked about that. Yeah, we talked about oh, it. Oh, okay. I guess I didn't hear flaming bull, so I guess I assumed. <laughs> <laughs> Known as Inanna. Um, beyond that, so as we come in, it is currently... Uh, it's currently coming up on about 9 a.m. Thursday, the 19th of June, 2025. Uh, you guys, there's still a light snow, and uh, it's picking up again, but it's nothing like the blizzard that was happening before as you guys make your way through the city streets, heading down what is kind of familiar to a couple of you, because you've been in this area, Marile and Niccolo, uh, what is largely familiar to you guys, except that every once in a while, as you pass by a street, the distortion of the city and how it's uh, erupted and been shifted around, there's some stores and buildings in places that they shouldn't be. You pa pass by some streets that definitely weren't where they were before. But oh, Marile, they put the put the Chinese place on the curb this time. <laughs> <laughs> you sounded so disinterested <laughs> in what you just said. I had a crane <laughs> dropped on me. That's like that's like a that's like a couple that's like driving you. on vacation. Like, oh, hey. <laughs> was that you? As you guys oh, no, you you. continue to move forward, you come to a uh, the area which you guys would recognize as being the. Uh, the front of Angel's Light, which has a, a very large, um, relatively classy, like, pretty uh, ornamental sign that does have a lot of a uh, bunch of neon bits on it uh, that features an angel wing, uh, a woman and an angel wing spreading out across the title of it. You notice beside it, conspicuously, uh, there is a rather quaint-looking coffee shop directly connected to the side of this building, just off on the side, that there's, like, it's its own building separated from everything else, except for this tiny one. That just says, uh, Maurice's Cafe. This small, very out of place, quaint looking, uh, bakery and coffee shop. The building itself is, uh, two stories-ish. Uh, it looks like the interior's a bit larger. It's not quite three stories, but it's a bit larger overall than you'd expect of a two-story building. Uh, not a lot of windows on the outside for relatively obvious reasons. As you go... Why? Man, I wonder! <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Who could say why they wouldn't have Nothing windows into this place? As you guys approach it, Gilligan, still carrying two space heaters, one under each arm, uh, turns back to you guys. Alright, it's lucky you guys stumbled onto me. 
You want to come inside and rest for a while, or do you got places to be? Do you need Dr. Pepper? Yeah, probably. <laughs> I guess... Do we got a... Yeah, we could use a doctor. Uh, <laughs> we could we could use several things, Gilligan. Um, it's been... We've had quite the night, and not in the fun way. At least... Not in the fun way, no, no. I'm either going inside or I'm collapsing on the curb. Well, we wouldn't want you doing that. Uh, that <laughs> said, can anyone, um... He, like, looks down towards Emmanuel. I, uh... I don't suppose you guys would mind waiting outside for a minute, if that'd be... Like, we'll just... It's not gonna... We're just gonna... We'll prefer... We'll prefer waiting, yes. Make the, uh... <laughs> place. Cold, like, Why? Give him, because give, him, of him. give him five minutes. We're gonna make the place a little bit more presentable. It's okay if it's messy. My room's messy all the time. No, oh, it's real messy though. We gotta, uh, oh. we just gotta. Don't you listen. We wanna leave a best possible impression, yeah, young man, you so. <laughs> I'll just put more <laughs> snow on my blood. <laughs> oh no. Danny, are you okay? Uh, yeah. He like. Mm fuss over his wounds. He clearly can't find a natural place to leave after saying that as he's like looking to each of you then to Emmanuel with a very I don't know if some of you get what I'm insinuating sort of look on his face. <laughs> then he's like, <laughs> okay! And then he just he's like he turns around and walks in leaving the door unlocked and open for you guys if you decide to enter. Um, you would have about five or six minutes as you hear Brief yelling inside, uh, and you hear a woman's voice raising up over the area, um, briefly talking about how they're not ashamed of the state of the building, and Gilligan shouldn't. You hear the sound of a thwap as if something connects with someone's head. Um, <laughs> and then you hear a very loud, like, THERE IS A CHILD, MAMA! <laughs> and, <laughs> and then you hear nothing, frantic scrambling, the sound of sheets and blankets being moved around. And then eventually he would return. But during that time, is there anything you guys want to do outside, reconvene? You'd have probably about 10, 15 minutes. I want to reminisce about the about the uh, the coffee shop, because that is where I probably spent a lot of time waiting for her to get off of work. <laughs> no, man. How, how, is, how is it doing? How's the shop doing? <laughs> uh, so normally this place uh, is run by a lovely elderly lady named Maurice who is just the most precious little thing. Um, everybody that works here, you know, has a pretty good relationship with her. Uh, you see that the front uh, shutters are, all, are uh, closed over the windows. The door is open and inside you see that it's not doing so well. The shifts in the earth have caused it to become somewhat uh, disheveled. Uh, the bakery section, like bread and pastries and whatnot, are thrown around. It looks like some of the things inside, like some of the um, heckin' uh, gear to make coffee and to bake, seems to have been removed. Uh, doesn't not not broken or scattered about, but seems to have been taken out of it entirely and recently. Um, you take my car, and now you take my favorite cafe. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I liked it too. <laughs> but she's not in there. Our favorite cafe, then. <laughs> what no. I would do for a caramel. Assists cafe. Emmanuel with snowman. <laughs> I'm gonna just lean against the building and collapse. <laughs> oh, that's it's not it. a very good beep. <laughs> it wasn't for, it's not it a wasn't, good beep at all. <laughs> it wasn't for the fact of the night we all had, I'd say we would all need a caramel macchiato with extra espresso. <clears throat> <laughs> I like caramel, it's fine. <laughs> Lose all your beat points. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna help Manny build a snowman. Make sure yeah. to put little horns on it. Yeah, those of you, it hasn't really come up before, but those of you who, uh, who live around here or have spent some time around here, you would know that uh, there's a lot of coffee shops in general around the APOM capital uh, city area. Um, this, this place is very well known for coffee production and all sorts of little shops to the point where that's almost a one of the things tourists come here for. So many of yeah, the islands, bright bucks, though. many of the islands in the bay are named after different types of coffee and whatnot. It's the, the city basically thrives on it. It's got a very Seattle feeling in that regard. 
coffee shops, sushi places, and hairdressers. They're everywhere. <laughs> Eventually, you guys hear the door open. It creaks open, and uh, Gilligan steps back out. All right, everything's uh, uh, cleaned and ready for presentation for our young guest. Why don't you guys come inside? You got it. Like you're the guest of honor. That's right. <laughs> and walk on in. Emmanuel, as you go in, uh, there's initially a area that has a, um, there's, there's a, like a, a closed off section at the front where there is uh, a larger set of doors uh, that clearly have a bolting mechanism on them that normally you would expect to see a bouncer or something of that effect here, but currently it's open. Past that, there is. Uh, hallway that turns a couple of times leading into the place. You notice that there's a lot of spaces on the walls, which themselves have this, not quite psychedelic, but this black and purple wavy pattern on them. The wallpaper is not gaudy, it's not distracting, but it's very involved. Uh, very 80s. As you enter into it, uh, you notice there's a bunch of spaces where there's uh, sections of uh, dust missing that clearly there were Perhaps until moments before paintings, uh, pictures, and whatnot being hung that have been removed and taken elsewhere. Uh, as you're moving through, he's, like, keeping your view where he wants it to. He's, like, got, like, a hand on your back. He's just walking you through. So, uh, where are your parents, anyways? Saw you casting some powerful magics out there, little guy, and, uh, you, you got a, a mom around here somewhere we should be calling? Uh, Dad's at home. I don't know where that is, and I don't know where my mom is. He is mine until further notice. I didn't realize you were in the business of adopting kids. I'm not. I've just Technically claimed Technically more responsibility, mine. but mm -hmm. she's liking and liking to him. He's, he's my big cute. little brother. He's very cute. Or sure. big little big. He's my. He's really old. He's dookie. <laughs> You see him nodding as if he agrees and understands with your strange assessment of Gino. <laughs> right, right, brothers and parents and big little, because you two are definitely the same, right? I understand. Right, good. Glad we got that sorted. <laughs> Did you like my snowman? Uh, it has a lot of character. Yeah. And he's really, really talented. <laughs> you see this person is not used to casual small talk. They are <laughs> inherently caught off guard by these topics. He's more of a straight to business kind of guy. <laughs> Sorna. Um, so like, what kind of business is this? Looks around. Uh, we are in the he looks down to Emmanuel and back up. We are in the business of entertainment. For a very particular clientele, looking for a very particular hands-on sort of entertainment. Mm -hmm. Oh, that sounds fun. Well, we should try it some time. Well, I do owe you one. <laughs> and I owe Arden. And Niccolo owes me. And... Uh, we need to start up a tab, Gilligan. If you start passing around favors like this, you're gonna put us out of business. No, I'm not. We've got everybody else. Yeah, she's been offering up a lot of favors. Oh, has Look, she? Look, I almost mm -hmm. died several times. Hmm. You can't let all you can't all let all this go to waste. She motions to herself. <laughs> what it's... if I died and I never raised to work? How is how would you? Uh, sense at the time. I agree. Here you guys step into the main area. It opens up into a very large section that is mostly dominated uh, by large uh, recliners, like the sort that just the back and the armrests are uh, at the same height, all surrounding tables. Um, there is where he's waiting for. <laughs> <laughs> there is uh, uh, there's a catwalk in the center of the area that has what you would expect. There are several poles. Uh, this particular catwalk branches out and splits into three different platforms. They go to different ways. There's effectively a stage that they all go back to. Um, 
that act that has a legitimate curtain that could be pulled over it, which currently has been pulled. You guys see that blankets and tarps have been thrown onto what, from their shapes, you can tell to be the busts of probably angelic-looking figures um, on the about eight, nine feet up that line this particular central room. Uh, there's a um, there's a bar counter behind which you see there's. Uh, a litany of different bottles, some full, some not, some clearly ornamental, that have backlighting that is causing them to be lit up with various, mostly violet and purplish uh, colors. Um, the same purple and black theme dominates the area. Uh, you see over the stage, there's a large set of neon um, lights that are shaped like wings that just spread out from the section where the catwalk begins. There are also many more tarps thrown over what look to be paintings and stuff on walls. There are alcoves that those of you that work here would know that there are particular statues in uh, that cannot be moved, that are effectively bolted down, that have been closed off and moved. Um, the lights in here are on, but they're dim, as if only the backup uh, lights are on. And the last thing you notice is surrounding the room there are about a dozen space heaters uh, all turned on, pointed in different areas, because the heating for the building is currently not working. Ah, oh, yes, sorry. And the last thing you would notice, the people that are in it, there's a couple of people. Um, there are, uh, two women that look like twins, uh, that look like they're reclining. Space users pointed directly at them. You would know them to be Jasper and Violet. Uh, the, um, you're, they're, they're in your notes, if you need to consult exactly who they are. Uh, no, no Rebecca today. No, no Rebecca. Uh, say again, Anna? No Rebecca. You mean, you mean fuck you and fuck me? <laughs> <laughs> Glad someone else is willing to make these jokes. Because I'm not. Um, <laughs> well, I was thinking it. <laughs> but, uh, again... There's also, behind the counter, you notice that the coffee machines uh, and equipment from next door have been moved into here and set up on the counter, and you see sitting uh, up on a stool an old lady, again, you would recognize her as Maurice, is just sitting there, hands kind of curled up together, a blanket wrapped around them with a shaking cup of coffee in their hand. Oh, Very large, thick-rimmed glasses <laughs> that are so reflective that you can barely see their eyes through them. All right, we've tried to make the place a little bit homey since we've had to hunker down here and we don't know exactly when we're leaving. You guys are free to stay. Uh, the others are around here somewhere. Uh, Mama stormed off to prepare the rest of the area in case the people decide to wander. Her boys are with her. Violet Jasper, could you actually get up and do something to help out around here? Where'd Sebastian and Herc go anyways? You just see them raise their hands, and one of them flips off Gilligan, like, from behind. <laughs> oh, it's very mature, Violet! <sighs> I guess you're technically not on the clock! Sets down the boxes. Anyways, make yourselves at home, guys. Thanks. I figured out what this place is. Is it bad? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. It used to be a firefighter's hall. <gasps> what are those? You know he's technically right. Why did you fill in the hole? <laughs> on the top of the pole? That's the best part. You want to practice? Do you want to practice on the poly, Manny? Uh huh. Oh, I don't. Uh, I, I just... They're clean. They're, they're clean, right? Um. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get a coffee. No. <laughs> I'm just gonna go lay down. Our bed. I need to... Yeah, you should do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Arden, how do you like your coffee? Uh, like I like my met. No. Uh, <laughs> uh, Dark, black, and strong. Just a bit of milk in there is fine. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of whiskey makes in there, too. To, makes way over to Maurice. He's just like, I want to get a coffee and sit in a chair. That is me. <laughs> As you head over to them, the the elderly lady who looks like she was somewhat zoned out sort of 
uh, briefly starts like moving a little bit. They're, you, they're clearly very cold. Uh, the place is a bit warmer, but it's a lot of space to heat up and there is a blizzard. Uh, whenever you get there, they, they look up very slowly towards you. Oh, Ni Niccolo. How yeah, nice to Mark. see you. You look cold. Do you need me to get you anything? Mm -mm. I have coffee, and that is all I believe I will need. But yeah. what can I get for you? Can I get two cups? One black, one with milk? Mm-hmm. See them hop off the stool that they're sitting on, hobble over to the uh, coffee stuff, and they begin preparing them for you. Yeah, uh, old Maurice has been, uh, Gilligan comes over to you, kind of gets close to your ear. I think she's kind of in shock right now. Um, most of the humans around here didn't really survive, so, uh, we did our best to make sure she'd be okay. Be gentle with her, all right? Is there anything that I can get her to make her more comfortable? She wasn't asking for anything, but she seems cold. Well, we've been motions to the space eaters. Been the best we've managed to do. We'll keep a lookout whenever we make our way out of here. Make your way out of here? We cannot stay. Not for long, anyway. Do you know something about what's going on? Unfortunately, yes. There was, I'm sure you've seen that big spire that came down into the middle of the city. I saw it come up briefly, got inside, and got everybody safe as best I could whenever it happened, and we did our best to maintain this place whenever the ground started to shake. We turned it off. That thing was causing that blizzard. Hmm. I don't know much else about it. Everything's a little over my head, but there are problems if we keep them going. And there are two more of them we have to get rid of. I see. So you're taking it on yourself to get this done? If only I could do it myself. Everyone here is going to be going with. Hmm. He looks over at Emmanuel. Even that kid, he's tough. I swear I've seen that emblem that they wear before. Probably didn't, have. Didn't want to ask him, but what is that? What's the, the order again called? I keep forgetting. Knights of Ulyssia. <laughs> Heard of the Knights of Ulyssia? Hmm. I have no idea what that means. Good. It's something you don't have to worry about. Not right now, at least. Alright. Right now, we just have to worry about whatever that creature is walking outside. Oh, that big thing that's standing above the city? Yeah, I noticed that. Kinda hard to miss it moving around. Apparently, there's going to be two more of them. If we don't stop it. Hmm. So what's bringing demons here anyway, Niccolo? Uh, he seems to stop for a second, look over toward the, the rest of the party. I mean, apart from us, obviously. We know what we're doing here. We're running a legitimate business. I feel like they're not. They, I believe, are invading from the Frost Hills. Hmm. I don't know 
a lot about it. Because it's been like a month since we got any all these revelations. Uh, <laughs> no, I don't know a ton about it right now, but... You'll get a lot more information, I'm sure, from... Emotions over toward, um, uh, toward, um, um, Gino. It's somehow connected to him. Hmm. Well, we're not really in a position to do much to help all you guys. We're just trying to keep things secured here. But I wouldn't mind it if- he like raises his voice so everybody can hear him. I wouldn't mind it if y'all would let me know exactly what's happening. We haven't seen demon activity here since- well, since we showed up. So. Us! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, we, we can tell you what we know. I guess. Well, I, if you could tell me what you didn't know, I'd be very impressed. Uh, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Sorry, was that rude? <sighs> no, we know. That was meant little. to be funny. I don't do. Yeah, sorry, that wasn't meant to be rude. It's fine. Bit of human uh, humor. We call it sarcasm. Good to know. Uh, okay. He's really good at it. I'm learning. <laughs> but you're not human. That, yeah, but I gotta blend in and look like I am. Nobody that comes here knows that we are what we are. That's why he's learning. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I could blend in. I'm just looking up at my horns. Yeah. Anyways, uh, what do you want to know? I'd say there's other demons coming here. I'd like to know who they are. Maybe we'll recognize some of the names. Want to know what's going to happen? Should we try to get out of the city? Ah. Uh... Veilfar. Veilfar's here. He rules the Frost Hills. Okay, so I know that name. Yeah. There's Lucifer, um, I think And Lilith. Said. I know that name. He was calling for Lucifer and Lilith. As soon as you say Lilith, he like opens his mouth briefly and you hear from uh, uh, one of the two uh, twins that are sitting elsewhere. And we know that name. Are you certain about that? It's what yes. he was saying. It's what the large, booming voice was calling over the city. So oh, yes. I'm surprised you didn't hear it. It's very loud. Well, they haven't been doing much but lazing around and taking in the heat. We kind of can't hear anything other than each other stroking their egos. <laughs> Among other things. Yeah, I know like basically what? who Veilfar is. We didn't come from there, but... Uh, Whenever we tried to set up shop here, we were aware enough of the different factions who ruled the Hells. It's bad uh, news. Yeah. And Briar. That's another one. Oh yeah, Briar. Never heard of that one. Marile could tell you all about him. I could tell you a lot about him. He's potentially a new client. Oh good! We don't get we demons in here very much. Okay, man, it's all in the thighs and the abdominals. You're really Do good like at this. this. Hup, You'd be a great hup, firefighter. Hup. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have the costume. Although it's not quite practical. How much weight can these things support? Not uh, you. Uh, <laughs> what, what if I told you he was hollow, Gilligan? What? You're hollow, right? Hollow man. I mean, yeah, but I'm still, like, really heavy. Are you a demon? Oh, uh, yeah. Alright. Well, no, I've just never met one that was just nothing but a walking suit of armor. Yeah. <sighs> kind of looks down to the ground, as that said. Mm. I'll take his hand. It's... You're what you're supposed to be. No, I'm not. I've only met like oh. five of them, and this is the nicest one I found. He's the best. <laughs> hmm. Uh, but, but uh, you know. I was gonna say, yeah. As far as what's going on, big towers. Um, gotta go turn them off. Uh, make it so they're not connected to the the human world anymore. 
Or that they're only connected to the human world. I don't really know. Yeah, um, we needed to connect them to here, so then we uh, demons stop coming from the from the frost hills. Does that mean that that blizzard is still happening in the other parts of the city? Yep. Oh. Yep. Well, how are you gonna get around in that? We couldn't even move around in that. We got a van. A van is not gonna help you. That's the problem. We have no way of actually surviving inside of that thing. Saw a boar. A boar. A bull? A bull, my bad. I saw a bull. I don't know where it was going, somewhere up the mountain, but it was completely aflame. I was wondering if there was something we could use there to get through. Oh shit, that thing's still alive? You seen it? Still? What? <laughs> he begins walking around to the back of the bar, uh, takes a glass, you don't know what he begins making, but he starts taking things off the walls and seemingly mixing himself a drink. He seems to get kind of enthusiastic as he does. Yeah, that's a Nana! Can't believe that thing's still around and kicking, though I guess that makes sense, who would have killed it? Uh, long story we, we short. Tried. Long story short, we didn't come here to open a business. We all came here because, uh, we wanted to get a chunk of what the human world had to offer a long time ago. But, as the more, um, lustful oriented members among us began to realize that just harassing travelers and passers-by weren't a good, uh, wasn't the best source of draining human essence. We realized that if we made a business out of it and blended in, things might go better for us, so... This place. Bit atypical for a demon, but here it is. But, when we came here, we brought Inanna with us. Yeah. Oh! This is your, your, your pet, then. It's your yeah. Inanna oh. means pineapple. I guess... No, that's Ananas. <laughs> oh. I thought it was weird that a fireball was coming from Ice Place. Yeah, I've never so. seen anything like that. From what I remember. He, he just house. puts his hand up on his head, just we, leans we, on the counter looking at the coffee. Espera un momento. And, uh, por qué you never say anything about the, the bull? Well, Inanna likes to hang out in cold places, so once we established ourselves here, uh, he just hung out up on the mountain. It's a lot chillier up there. If I'm, if I'm recalling correctly, I'm pretty sure that he made his home up near the ritual site that we made a portal and came over in. Could be anywhere now, though. Do you know how to reel it in? Ah, it's been a few hundred years since we saw it. That doesn't, oh. I mean, it, 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 uh, how good is the bull memory? Which is the one that doesn't forget, Nicola? Uh, that's an elephant. Yeah, we got the sparrow. Mom, the pero, sparrow pero, doesn't pero forget. Son de, pero son de la misma familia, ¿verdad? Hamsters. Hamsters don't Hamsters. forget. It's true. Never it's had one. Probably true. Memories. Sounds right. Is my coffee done? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he will Murray slowly he will... walks over and passes them both to you. He will thank her, looking very tired, pick them up, <laughs> thank take you. one over to Arden, and then just lay down inside one of the chairs. <laughs> thank you for your patronage, Niccolo. Thank you very much. Yeah, we uh, <laughs> don't have any means to rein it in, probably wouldn't listen to us, but if you're looking for a way to keep warm, if you want to go rip off a chunk of Inanna and keep it, then Inanna is a... Uh, Constant furnace, a source of eternal heat. So we can do so, something off of it. Eventually. I hand the I hand the black coffee to Arden. <clears throat> Would it make <laughs> <laughs> You're a bitch? <laughs> I drink it. <laughs> He stares at you at the first drink, waiting for you to complain or something. <laughs> <laughs> I just down it all. <laughs> oh, okay, good. Oh, it was just like yeah. she, like if she, if, if she saw him pass in the black coffee. Uh, uh, Gilligan, can you pass me the Irish cream? You don't Do know which one I passed that? him. <laughs> That's the thing. I was like, did she? Did uh, okay? But did I see them? They're in cups. <laughs> he, 
He did ask for it, did he not? I asked for a black yes, but that might have been for me. All right, yes. fair enough. <laughs> yes for a, no, but, but Arden asked for it with milk. I asked for a milk one as well. You're a Ask bitch. Ask for one black, one milk. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said. Yo, well, okay, Marile. No, I know. It's going to be a hard <laughs> check because this is such a small thing, but roll me insight. I, I was going to say, I was like, can I roll? <laughs> roll, roll insight. If we're insight. goofing, then let's where, goof. Where, where <laughs> fucking insight. goof. Let's, let's, let's do this. I can't wait to ruin your fun. 17. Yeah, 19. 19. Roll deception. Should I, ro should I roll a sleight of hand? The roll sleight no, of hand. Yeah, no, you got to do sleight of hand. Da, da, da. Hey, uh. da, da. Damn it! <laughs> you briefly catch the color of it and you notice that it is pitch black. Like, as he's handing it, she just pats on the table. Can you pass the Irish cream, please? <laughs> is that another one of your nicknames for him? Drink it, drink it, drink it. I'm <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but that's a great idea. Can you pass me the cool. Irish cream from my what? Irish cream? What makes cream Irish? Oh, Are the cows fucking no. different? <laughs> I don't fucking know. Get the crema. No, I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were yeah, because uh, you didn't know who you were. Here it is. <laughs> she, just, she just grabs it and then walks up to Arden. Here, he forgot to get the cream for you. Oh, oh, thank you. It's even the one you like, probably. <laughs> You see, like the you face of slight, the, <laughs> the face of slight amusement go to a frown, like ah. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> he, <laughs> he said, "He said with milk, Nicolo, you should know better than anyone. You don't mess with anyone's coffee." <laughs> Must have uh, not heard him. <laughs> Takes a drink. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> oh, really? Uh, hmm? Can you, can you show me? I'm like, gonna like pull her down and like whisper in her ear. What? Can you show me the, the, the dances that you do here? <laughs> like the, no, point. <laughs> well, yes, of course. I also have to show Manny. He wants to know how to go up and down. I was wondering if you could teach me. Oh, of course. I would love like to. looks like fun. Oh, I would love to. And if you turn out to really, really like it, I can show you to Sebastian. Eh? Uh... I he found a Dr. A... Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he is he is one of he is one of the other workers here. He is a very good dancer. Okay. <laughs> Come with me. Alright. No follow her. Nanny, we're going to go up and down the poles. I start yeah. following you with a cannon <laughs> both of my hands. <laughs> <laughs> Where did he get that? <laughs> We're gonna, go, we're gonna go pole dance. All right. <laughs> go ahead. Roll me a dexterity-based performance check. Oh hell yeah! Oh. I can't wait to fail. <laughs> <laughs> can't wait for you to not do the thing that you're supposed to do. The thing that I'm really good at. Uh, what was it again? Uh, do a dexterity-based performance check. So it's in your skills tab, and uh, beside it, beside performance, click the mm -hmm. charisma thing until it says uh. dex. Uh, oh, charisma yeah, says dex. Oh okay. my god. Oh, oh it's poopy. <laughs> she oh, picked no. up a lot from your shitty performance. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Emmanuel. Be fair, Emmanuel, we did this, we did he rolled. He did, he did. Were both of those dexterity based, guys? Yep. Uh, mine was. Uh, yours? Mine was? I pressed, I pressed it, so it said yeah. They do really good. They are impressively versatile when it comes to doing this. Emmanuel. <laughs> Doesn't exactly do the same kind of stuff you're doing, but you are caught off guard by uh, trying to mimic you on the other two poles how well these two do, despite how naive they are. Fucking Arden glances over, just fucking. <laughs> 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 it starts choking? Don't waste the yeah. coffee. <laughs> he chokes on his coffee. And then he glances away. <laughs> Gilligan looks oh. over to Emmanuel on the pole and just kind of like leans down over towards Gino. Do you know if I could get arrested for this? <laughs> is this? Is that I don't matter? see why. I mean, like, I guess cops. Look, you're like, you're asking about human right laws. Now. I don't fucking know those. I don't know them either. 
<laughs> I've been here for hundreds of years. I don't, I don't know. I don't handle that. The person who handles all the paperwork and running the business around here is. And as he says that, at the end of the curtains, at the end of the the, the catwalks, you uh, see a set of double doors get flung open, and there's a woman uh, that walks in, not elderly, but getting up there, like her forties. Um, has a very Yzma from Emperor's New Groove look to her, but <laughs> slightly more classy. A lot of, like, peacock feathers and very flashy ornaments on her clothing as she uh, thrusts oh, both oh, hands oh, outwards yeah. and strikes them to the side. I heard the sound of people using my facilities, and I could tell, even only by hearing, that my baby had returned safely. Mommy? Oh, it's my child! She, like, runs up to you and just, like, puts her arms around you and begins squeezing your cheeks very tightly. <laughs> Mama Marigold was so worried about you. I was worried that everything had claimed you, that the snow had buried you, and that we had lost our star. Am I really the star of the show now? Is everybody dead? No, oh, baby, everyone's the star when they're on stage. Oh, of course, I forgot. But when I'm a mommy. Now, who are these people? Have they treated you well? You know Niccolo always treats me well. Do I know that? He doesn't even remember me. Have you treated her well, me. Niccolo? I treated her better than my car. I do not believe you. He threw his car <laughs> out and it got destroyed. <gasps> so better than garbage. <laughs> so he no longer even has a car. <gasps> ah, he just leans back. <laughs> <laughs> you should ditch him. He has no prospects, darling. He cries for Rebecca in the night, mommy. And I'm right next to him. <laughs> Tragic. Insensitive. Arden, wake me up when they're gone. <laughs> wake me up. Arden, wake me up inside. <laughs> you got it. That's it. He just leans back and he's just like, I'm just gonna drink my coffee and close my eyes. <laughs> what are you waiting for, baby? I would like to be introduced to the rest of them. Well, of course, you know Niccolo, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Mm -hmm. uh. This little baby right here is now my new baby, and his name is Emmanuel. <gasps> For the Dr. Pepper. You <laughs> <laughs> told me it's important to thank people for things. Thank you, you better. Mama Marigold, you, uh... Took care of the others, have you found them? They are trying to maintain the power and get things back on. I am being introduced to our guest, though, Gilligan. I will thank you to mind your manners. Mm. He, like, recedes back. You can see him visibly shrink. <laughs> and who are the others? This is why Gilligan's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And who is this handsome young man? Looks over towards Arden. Hi, oh. this one is the new prospect, possibly. Who knows, maybe if I get lucky, but I'm not quite sure. I'm not taking my chances. Pero, se llama Arvin. Isn't he just cute? <laughs> uh, hi, uh, uh, Arden Doyle. <clears throat> Very nice to meet you. Uh, may I ask? She, like, walks over to you, steps off the catwalk, goes to you, sits down in the chair opposite you, crosses her legs. As she does, you see two very large men just kind of apparate behind her. Not, like, literally, <laughs> but you guys did not see them come in. These two large suited men standing seven feet tall each, <laughs> arms crossed, looking identical to each other. Very MIB. Uh, just oh. kind of slide in behind her. So you're the new prospect, are you? Tell me. What do you intend for my baby? Uh, I've got Tell no her. idea what a prospect even means in this uh, in this circumstance, but uh, I intend to keep her safe, I guess. Did they get bigger? <gasps> <laughs> Wait, you've seen these guys before? Uh, no, don't worry about it. <laughs> don't. Don't worry, mommy. Even if he doesn't, end, if it, even if it doesn't end up working out, he is also very, very good with a pole. Ah. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> well, given that we've recently lost a very large number of our staff, if you were looking for work, I'm sure that we could. You see her like looking you up and down very intimately. We could find a place for you. His cheeks flush a little. <laughs> Um, right. Uh -huh. <clears throat> uh, 
we'll keep that in mind. Hmm. I'm ever very in need of money. It's oh. very well. <laughs> I'm ever very in need. It, <laughs> it pays very well when you get returning clients. Hmm. I can imagine. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Yo, how do you hang upside down like that? Every time I do, I fall. It's not that hard. It's pretty easy. You just use your thighs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you just use your thighs. Use your thighs. And who is that Spitfire? Hello. Oh. My name's Bianula. I'll like hold on to the pole with like my legs and just reach out my hand. <laughs> like, Hi. Like to them. They move over to you. They they uh, they stand from talking to Arden. They give you a, like an upside down inverted handshake. It is very Hello. nice to meet you. You are another one of their kind, then. Uh, Just how many me. of you are demons here? Me, um, Marile and Gino. I'll point to Gino. And I think that's it, unless Arden's not telling me something, which wouldn't surprise me. And maybe Niccolo? I don't know. Are you human, Niccolo? I don't know. I don't know if we ever clarified that. Am I still human? I don't fucking know. You tell me. Unfortunately, uh. darling. Okay, cool. Just checking. Abiyano and Fianilla. Hmm. Hi. In case any of you may be wondering, uh, Mama Marigold is the... Sole surviving human member of our staff, who was not claimed by everything that happened here. Hmm. Oh. You must be really strong then, yeah? It would take more than a blizzard to snuff out this fire. Well, of course. <laughs> Sounds tough. I like her. I think if Mama Marigold made her way into hell, I think she'd take it over in a snap. Of course I would. Mm -hmm. We would probably set the, the frost elves on fire! No, keep dancing. <laughs> I <laughs> fall. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. He picked up quickly, mommy. Oh, seems like the underworld's going to be busy in a couple of months then. Hmm. That's exactly what? what are you insinuating, Nicolo? Oh, nothing, nothing. You're just you're you're. you're, you're <laughs> drink. <laughs> Certainly, you are not commenting on my age, are you? Looks over, looks down to coffee, looks around at all the th at all the things around that'll make it a lot easier than standing outside. <laughs> I would never, Mama. <laughs> hmm. You are all welcome to make yourselves at home here. In any case, many of you, if you wish to come back and work here once we piece the city back together, then you are very welcome to do so. However, hey, because oh, go ahead. In the short term, we can't offer you very much. I think that's fine. It's warm. Can I ask you a question, Mama? Of course you can. Um. What exactly does the work entail? Because Marile hasn't really told us all that much. Well, that depends and I'm on very confused. Well, that depends on exactly what you are interested in, my dear. There is, of course, the stripper work that needs to be done. There is the pole dancing that needs to be done out here for our clientele. If you are interested like Marile, then you could get more intimate with our They don't know what we... Why do they seem confused about what we do here, Marile? Well, for one thing, I couldn't just tell him any right off the bat, because then he might ask more questions. He's still a baby. Oh, he's going to find out Everybody someday. else, though, I mean... <laughs> you see a hat slowly making its way away from you all. <laughs> <laughs> Not my responsibility. I'm on the pole. He understands. <laughs> she walks over to you and, like, kneels down to you. I suppose we must all grow up sometime. Remember, no matter what you see here, there is no shame in this work. And anyone who tells you there is, is swine. Very swine. Tough. Swine means pigs. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> it is also another name that you could call Niccolo. How fucking dare you? <laughs> <laughs> is that like the word for boys or something? So it'd be like Niccolo, swine, Arden's being a swine, Gino, Manuel. Except for me and Maraday, because we're the cool ones. Oh no, no, just me. Don't say it to it's them. Okay. What? 
Mm. I will say, though, if anybody was ever curious, they could have just pulled me aside. I just never wanted to say anything in front of the child. You're big. I can't pull you sideways. <laughs> You're all sideways. It is not as hard to pull her sideways just, as just, you might think. Just flag pulls. <laughs> Emmanuel, she's like, Mia Moore, you are the child. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Mama Marigold doesn't interact with many children. Sorry to all of you about this. What's the problem? We, uh... Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, I mean, we don't really need much. Just a place to... Just a good night's sleep. Her. All right, well, you're welcome to do that, as long as Mama doesn't mind you being here. There's a whole room of V- a whole floor of VIP rooms and accommodations if you want to make yourselves comfortable. I'm not being used right now, and the power's not entirely at 100%, but there's still pool tables, a pool, no likes on the upper <laughs> floor. There's a pool here? Of course there oh, is. Of course. We got an entire floor that people rent out for gatherings. It's, uh, pretty great. Skating rink by now? I understand that humans often like to submerge themselves in liquid for long periods of time. Sometimes it's hot and bubbly and it feels really nice on the muscles. You have a bath? Or a shower or something? Yeah. You're in the room, silly. Is that a yes? <laughs> yes, we absolutely do. Alright, cool. Oh, could use use one of those. Do you need help scrubbing your back? I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be just a dandy by myself. <clears throat> ah. And hey, yeah. if any of you want blood, we got that too. Got my own. Blood. Yeah, Thanks. blood. So <laughs> does sometimes. Bunch of you are demons, right? <laughs> Or are you some of the ones that don't care for- That's why we came here, so we- I'm mm. feeling like you're not a blood kind of group. No, I lost a lot of mine. No. You'd be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, I also lost a lot of mine. I was just uh, like looking over at Arden, you'll be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Son, I can only use my own blood for things, <laughs> not other people's. Mm. Thanks for the offer. Uh, I don't. We'll it's food. Take... Like normal people food. Aye. You see, uh, Mama Marigold takes out a cigar holder, fits a. or a cigarette holder, fits a cigar into the end of it, lights it, sits back on one of the. on one of the chairs, takes a very deep drag of it, they breathe out a thick cloud of smoke, and there's. <sighs> if any of you would require anything from us, then feel free to ask, though we are trying to hold down our own here as well. If you want to use the facilities, feel free. No charge today. Appreciate does that it. include me, Mommy? Of course it does. You are always welcome to the facilities here. No, no, no. I mean, am I a facility today? <laughs> that sounds like that is up to you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, though, if you do desire the services of Jasper or Violet, then you are certainly welcome to them. They should put in some kind of work, don't you think, girls? You see them just let out a collective... <laughs> <laughs> you are no help in a crisis. <laughs> Freeloaders. Anyway. Yep. With that, you guys are effectively left to do whatever you want to here. All right, Marley, how about you show us uh, up there, upstairs to some rooms then, if of you course. wouldn't mind. Uh, does anybody want the nice room, the nicer room, or the very nice room? To those in tail, and I'll drop off the pole. The very Please. nice one sounds very nice. <laughs> Is that in the name? Well, <laughs> it's true. Uh, <laughs> well, it uh, comes with a lot of accommodations, a lot of comfort, a lot of toys, a lot of... Toys? We'll have the ones with the bed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's a toys that, you're, uh, that you'd are you be interested in uh, there, Emmanuel. Well, we can take a look. 
They're more tools than toys. Oh, I can build something? <laughs> uh, I like fireman stuff. I like fireman stuff. <clears throat> There's plenty I mean, of fireman stuff out here. I mean, I don't know about fireman stuff, but we can play policeman with the handcuffs. Uh, oh dear God! <laughs> Why do you have handcuffs? We also have rope. That would be useful to use when we're like. Out trying to deal with the spiders, but why do you have ribbon handcuffs? I don't. I'm gonna do a cannonball in the pool. <laughs> 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 yes. Okay. How about we go to the pool? <laughs> Let's go upstairs now. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Whenever you you guys uh. head off to a side room, uh, you have to open a VIP door to get there. Uh, has a complex lock on it, but it's currently unlocked. As you guys move up to the second floor, um, passing through the stairwell, you notice there is another set of stairs that keeps going that goes up to what you presume to be the roof. Um, heading out of the second floor, you see what looks like a uh, relatively large flat. Like, it's, it's, it's pretty big. Um, do you see there's another bar here uh, that appears to just be totally open for anybody to use? Uh, in the center of the room, about a third of this rather large room, uh, you see is dominated by a very large hot tub. There are more chairs and seats and tables that are arranged around. There's slowly shifting red, purple, and blue lighting that illuminates the area, but because the power's down, it flickers and, uh, doesn't move quite as it's, uh, supposed to. Um, and you also see hallways leading off to, a. Uh, Another set of where you presume to be private rooms. As you go up there, you see sitting at the counter several bottles open in front of them. Someone that you, Marile, would recognize to be Sebastian uh, is sitting head down in his hands on the counter. You hear a faint, rather pathetic sobbing coming from him. Oh. Sebastian? <laughs> Have you... Do you need a moment? Uh, do you... Yeah, you okay? He, like, looks up towards you. This this man has, um, uh, black hair that is, is pulled back and styled in a rather, uh, uh, particular way where it comes down partially over one of his eyes. Um, he's... No, he's fit, but he's relatively light-looking. Uh, you see he's wearing a lot of rings, he's, uh, got a silver necklace on. Uh, when he turns towards the lot of you, he seems to shoot up suddenly and just looks over to you, somewhat, almost with desperation. G I am not- I'm not fit to see anybody right now, Marile! Please tell them to leave! Uh, that- we did- I didn't even know you were here! <laughs> well, uh, sorry, um, did, anything I can do to help you? <sighs> Not unless you can put the city back to being how it was. I've lost everything, Mari Lay! Like, puts his hands back down uh, over his head and looks down at the counter. Everything. I'm gonna be stuck in this place forever now. Wasn't that the point? Not here! <laughs> Not with all of you! I think I'm rather good company, even though like Nicolo disagrees. You are. I never said you were a bad company. I love you too. <laughs> <clears throat> now what happened? Now what's going on with you? Everyone's going through the same thing, you know. No. It's much, much worse for me, Niccolo. Much what worse. What did you lose? My dream. The spark. What was the it? My studio is gone. It's so the rumors were true. Of course studio. they were true! A studio? Did well, you make art or something? No, well, I told you earlier, uh, Cerecita, Sebastian is a wonderful dancer. There was a bit of a rumor that he opened a studio. Oh, your own dance oh. studio? I had tried to keep it separate from everybody here, because I didn't want this life bleeding over into that, but... It sunk into the earth. It's like it opened up and a great maw swallowed my dreams whole. Why did this happen to me? Why did the city have to be destroyed? 
What did I do? You didn't do anything. Uh, Sebastian, it's just a matter of unfortunate circumstances. It's just a location you can always rebuild. I have a what feeling that uh, after after this, there's going to be a lot of real estate. It's true. A lot of vacant properties. Once this is gonna, once this is all over. But well, you lost a pretty box where you dance and teach people to dance. Doesn't mean you can't still teach people to dance. You can teach her how to dance. I mean, look, new student. Points to Fionula. Hi. Look, apparently I'm really good at it, but mm -hmm. yeah, you could teach me to dance if that would make you happy. Any place is a studio with some gusto. <sighs> you see him stand. Both of his hands hit the table and he suddenly just stands up like straight back, straight arms, turns over towards you. Uh, walks to you, Theo, given your height, he sort of towers over you a little bit, and as he stands over you, the single eye uncovered by hair seems to pierce into you rather menacingly as he does. So with that tiny frame, you believe yourself to be capable of such art. I am very strong and very fast. Your name. I My name is Fionula Ioni. It's nice to meet you. <sighs> It would seem I forgot myself. I forgot that I must always remain composed. He, like, runs his hands back through his hair. I apologize. You shouldn't have seen me this way. You're A-OK. -okay. If you wish to learn, then certainly I can teach you. I am Sebastian, and I shall lead you down the golden road towards your dreams, Fionula. What are you doing? Okay. You wish to dance. Apparently. Then show me. You mean it? Okay. Show me the uh, fire in your feet and in your heart. But I shoot fire from my hands. <laughs> I, just, I, I lean fire. over. I lean over to Nicolo. Like, this guy's a bit dramatic, isn't he? Should we go back to, like, the pose and shit? <laughs> Apparently I'm really, really good at using those. Can I show you what I can do? I'm not interested in that kind of dancing. Okay. The sort that we do here, that Marile does, it is... Uh, a vehicle for lust. And that certainly okay, has its place. Oh, As an incubus, okay, I can understand it. But what I desire comes from much deeper within. What is it, ballet? Are you insulting ballet? No. What's ballet? Tippy toes. A delightful expression of oneself. Of rhythm, of movement, of turning your body into an instrument. Delicate. Well, we can try. But firm and powerful. Show me what you have then. Okay. Show me Tippy what toes. you got. Leans, o toes. leans over to Arden. Honestly, I don't see any difference in that in now and before. Tippy Holy toes. crap. Just like the <laughs> 1984 smash hit Footloose starring Kevin Bacon. How do you know these things? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he's really right. It is precisely like that. <laughs> oh. Do I need to make a performance check? Yes. Please okay. do. <laughs> Okay. Dexterity based. But beep beep. Everybody cut uh, beep beep. It's pretty good. Me so no Describe your dance to me. Oh boy. Ah <laughs> oh, jeez. Ah oh, jeez. Um, <laughs> gonna go for something like very very like light and delicate, cause ballet sounds like a soft word to her. So she's gonna kind of like go up as high on her tippy toes, like go as best on the very tips of her toes that she can and try to do like very, very light ballet moves that she's like, this sounds correct, I suppose. Swan Lake in it trying. She doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> now do the little spin. Okay, Go I'll away. try to do a spin. Ooh. As you Art do, is, like, clapping Sebastian stands like one arm crossed across their body, the other one like hand over their mouth, looking at you, nodding very slowly, very a very stern look in his eyes. Hmm. Am I doing it? 
Are you? Certainly. You're doing something. My dear, what you are doing is showing me that despite this disaster, there is a miracle that reigns within it. A single point of light in the darkness that is this great tragedy. That I should have you delivered to me in the midst of all of this chaos. Tell me, if this is something you wish to pursue, will you return? Will you stay? I mean, I guess I could. Because I like kind of came from the Frost Tales and now I'm here. And then I met Oz and, and then we like got wrapped up in all this crazy shit. And we're like fighting demons and stuff. But if we like survive fighting all the demons and like dealing with the spires and shit. Yeah, no, I'll come back. I'd love to dance with you. That sounds like a lot of fun. As you say <gasps> this, your hands are clasped together as they clasp theirs around, uh, around them. Then it's settled. When this tragedy passes, you and I shall flee this city together. We shall roam the land, teach others to dance. I love me. That's like a lot of fun. I like to travel. Romantico. Good. Cool. I'm pleased that I, I was able to find you. you. I will nudge Arden. I don't. I don't trust that. I don't trust that she understands what's going on. Yeah, okay, uh... <laughs> it's like going, it is like going on tour with a celebrity, except Sebastian is not quite there yet. How, how long is your uh, dance tour going to take you? Dance tour? How long? Or whatever you're doing. <laughs> For as long as I may draw breath. Let's go so you're going to be just wandering <laughs> the world for your entire life. Just tiptoeing around. <laughs> it's not tiptoeing, Arden. It's dance. It's called it's... ballet. That's what I've heard. Um, no, no, no. You're Arden. okay with just. Oh, turn to Fio. You're, t you're okay with just, I don't know, going around the world with this. this dude here? <laughs> dude? I mean, why not? Oh. It sounds well, like fun. It very well could be. And he I'm listens just... to what I'm doing. Like, he listens. He understands that I can do stuff. And he's... <gasps> no, he listens. <gasps> mm. uh, Striking. Tension. <gasps> How interesting. Conflicto de amores. What the fuck is this pool? <laughs> <laughs> it's just a fucking... Just a big wave. <laughs> is there a rope around here that if you pull it, it waterfalls on you? It's so neat! <laughs> that is in the other room. On stage three to the left. That's awesome! I apologize, Fionula. I do not wish to deal with this... Ruffian and his closed mind any further. I believe I will be retreating from your company for a while. When you wish to begin the rest of your life, I pray that you will come find me. You got it! That sounds like a lot of fun. I'm gonna give him a big hug around the waist. <laughs> I look forward to hanging out with you more. <sighs> You're really, really sweet. He, like, pushes off from you slightly, but respectfully. Let's try to keep things professional. Shall we? La dimonia del invierno. Divierno su corazón. He like puts the back of one of his hands against his head. And with that, I retire. See him almost glide back towards one of the other rooms and disappears. So weird, I like Ma him. Molly, Molly Lay just like tries to elegantly like twirl towards Fionula. Y como un beso de los ángeles. Él se va. Huh? Oh, uh, like an angel's kiss. He is gone. This he's dreamy, isn't he? He's really cute. He's very dreamy. The girls he's... love him. I can see why. Mm -hmm. He's he very likes nice. good movies. Well, he likes a good movie, at least. I know that much. <laughs> <laughs> he is, what they, he is oh. what they like to call un romantico. I don't know what that word means. Uh, I, it's so okay. It is very close to romantic. You cannot tell me. That. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the one throw me off. Romantic. 
That makes sense. <laughs> Should we go find that water bucket? Yeah. Yeah! Um, Drag a manual a off. Let's go. I'm gonna go do a flash uh, dance. I'll be right back. <laughs> uh, Alright. Oh. Seems more of a testa di caso to me. <laughs> what? what? Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> I may or may not have called him a dickhead. Don't worry about it. <laughs> you hear a splash you of water it? and a flood. Yes, I did. I have, dude, every time I'm in these games, I have like three pages. One of them is phrases, like normal phrases. One of them is like very specific phrases. And one of them is insults. I have all three up. <laughs> <laughs> Uh Alrighty. Uh heck. Okay. I'm in I'm in trouble. Well then, uh, <laughs> I, let's, make sure, let's, oh, let's make sure that they can find their uh their pool. They were wanting to have fun, right, Malile? Uh yes, of course. And as well, Ardeen, um are you going to need a special room and maybe some salt for those burns? Uh, I uh I'll, I'll be, I'll be fine. Um, a room could be, probably be, be good. Do you want me to bring the good liquor for you? <laughs> that might be nice. I haven't had a drink in a bit. Okay. Mm. <laughs> no, I won't be too much of a tease. I'm proud of you. I know. I think I know exactly what you're gonna say. I'm proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Oh, Should I bring the good liquor? It's like, yeah, I could use a drink. I wasn't talking about a drink. <laughs> oh no, I wasn't gonna make that. I wasn't gonna make that joke. Okay, good. <laughs> he was gonna Dirty. bring him. He was gonna bring him the liquor. <laughs> Why not, Alox? Thank you for the 50 gift subs, my dude. Thank you. Hey! Oh my God. Yeah. Thank you so much. Oh boy, oh boy. Gonna roll. Whee. That's pretty we're gonna, good. We're gonna guide we're gonna guide Emmanuel and Eric and Eric. <laughs> <laughs> just pull Eric from off screen, just actual Eric like oh hey, what are we okay? How do I fucking get here? Oh, Alright, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Just go up to Eric. Hi, my name is Marile. Welcome. Oh, <laughs> I don't. I don't think talk anybody ahead. in this game could talk to Marile in real life. No. I, no. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I think if that happened, everybody in this chat would just be like, uh huh. Hmm. <clears throat> Hello. Hi. 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 Nice. I'm Logan to meet you. I'm fuck. Uh. I'm not just. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're gonna take Gino and Emmanuel to the pool. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the middle of the room. You guys get to it as you go by it. Uh, you see the controls that are on the side of it that control uh, how powerful the jets are when it's on it. Again, it is a hot tub. When you get to it, you notice the water is kept warm. As you approach, uh, as if proximity sensors pick you up, uh, a variety of uh, purple, like deep purple and pink lights underneath it begin slowly fading in and out underneath the pool, giving the whole thing a, a very... Um, almost psychedelic look to it as you approach it. Well, here I go. The end is right here, so if you're going to dive, then make sure you land in this. <laughs> <laughs> the deep end is right here. Do, Emmanuel is doing fine in the pool. You just see Gino like fly, like flailing around, like ah ah. Backs ah. up, does a charging run, and jumps into the pool. <laughs> and all of the water was gone. <laughs> <laughs> you charge and jump in it, and yes, a fair a large amount of it is displaced <laughs> outwards. This is how they taught displacement to me at the Nice Ulysses. Just threw Gino in water. <laughs> yep. Can <laughs> attest. <laughs> oh, great. Well, oops. I guess there's no room for swimming anymore. I will note that given the depth of it, though, parts of it you could go underwater. It's mostly, like, a lounging pool. It, 
It is more yeah. hot tub than pool. I see, I see. Mm -hmm. So when you jump in it, you, like, land sitting effectively. You're barely covered up to your waist, but still that impact empties out most of it. Well, <laughs> my at bad. Least, at least the floor is incorporated, or else there would have to be a mud problem. Well, I'm glad to. You'll be fine. Don't get in with me, Marilei? Huh? I said, do you want to get in with me? Uh, I mean, uh, not in these clothes, after all. How about we go get into some swim swimsuits? I've never worn one of those, sure. Let's do it. Oh, or we can just take our clothes off and jump in. It is fun to skinny dip. I've never done that before, either. This place is weird. <laughs> then let us get the swimsuits and save skinny dipping for another time. <laughs> okay, whatever you want. I'm gonna oh, take your shoulders, and we're gonna love you, <laughs> Spencer's head's gonna explode. <laughs> I'm, going to, I'm, I'm going to warn you right now, Saracita. No matter how unique they look, they look great on you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll be back in a bit. And cue That's... the 50 commissions from fucking Squeaky <laughs> that are going to come out of this. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I think you mean 51. <laughs> hey! <laughs> uh... Oh dear. We're just going to go get changed. You guys, uh... Hey, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Got, uh, the fuck? We're just looking at fucking bathing suits. <laughs> While they're gone. <laughs> I, I'll turn to <laughs> Niccolo. Hey, am I in trouble for something? <laughs> Niccolo? Niccolo? He's well, unconscious. I knocked him well, out. Can you guys, oh, off? <laughs> it's really hard to tell him. Just staring into space. Quick, <laughs> <laughs> someone give him CPR. I can't do it. I swear I, I targeted the other side of the room with my ring, but he just kind of got all dizzy like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so while we wait for Cody to come back, I was going to wait a minute, but uh, why don't we go ahead and take a break there? <laughs> okay. We're okay. requesting almost about an hour and a half. Let's just, well, we'll cut it off there and whatever he's doing, we'll cool. let him finish up. I'll be right back. Well, this Watch is... Get back five seconds from now. Probably. Well, this is going well. I'll be right back. <laughs> I'm already looking at swimsuits as we speak. Oh, dude, same though. <laughs> I mean, but if you squeaky, if you want to like get anything done, you, you let me know and I'll go in on it with you. Just let me know. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, to answer your question, Raven King, since I just looked it up, the etymology of the phrase "skinny dipping" comes from. It's not that. It's not talking about thinness. It's talking. It's just skin. They just added the knee because it sounded nice. Skin dipping. Yeah. <laughs> skin dipping sounds we'll terrible. Skin dipping. Skin <laughs> dipping sounds like sounds like a weirdo's like euphemism for sex. Right? Sure does. <laughs> That's really funny. Oh man. I wonder if that happened in six XO. Man. The funny thing about sexy swimwear is that, yes, it's very sexy, but man, don't tan in these. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> it's true. I have 80s music on in the background. The idiom, it came out in 1947, because around then is when most swimming clothes started becoming produced uh, on a large scale, uh, with fabrics that could dry quickly. Before that, most things would just hold water for an, like a really long period of time, so swimming naked was kind of a necessity. Ah. Uh. Goodness. According to the internet, so you know. I'm back. I just. It's heckin', obviously true. I just splashed so much cold water in my face because, oh my god, it's hot. Oh. Oh no. Squeaky, what are those? He's what are those? Suit. Oh no! What are those? What are those? Oh, Yo, squeaky. Yes. Heckin'. Before Heckin later tonight, if you could, or, or by tomorrow morning, your call, pick one and send it to me. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm like, what? And one for what? Theo. 
if you want to. Oh, oh, uh -oh. well, you know what? I, I will give Hayden the honors of picking their swimsuit for Fia. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> of course, Marile would pick the skimpiest ones. But Obviously. It, it is it is what Fio decides to wear. <laughs> oh, Cody, you're back. Yeah, I'm sorry. I had a phone call from my sister. She's she's gonna take one of the puppies tomorrow. Oh, ah, oh, you're good. Mm. It's just yep. I tried talking to Niccolo, and Niccolo was just staring I'm at the so wall. I'm so sorry. We, we went. It's okay. We went on break to okay, give you good. time to come back. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I got the phone call, and it's like, oh, I'm taking I'm taking the puppy that you like the most. I'm like, oh, okay, bye. Oh boy, <laughs> like, you bitch. No. <laughs> look at look at look at look at that swimsuit. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I'll die. Uh, I'll be dead, you see. There's a thing among fosters, Deco, which is uh, like a lot of channels I've watched that do fostering. They're like, a lot of places will bring people on as fosters, knowing they probably will not foster more than their first time. Because most people will start fostering like a kitten or a puppy and be like, oh, yeah. we're going to get you ready for your forever home. And then they're there for two days. They're like, I love them. <laughs> <Just keep it. laughs> that's basically, uh, yeah, that's basically it. Like, it, it, it it's going to be a lot easier on me with just one puppy though, so that's gonna be good. Yeah. But you know, why couldn't she take the one that's loud? I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm, I playing, can, I'm playing, I can I'll I'll keep, I'll keep Dante, it's fine. But uh, with that though, if you're back, do you guys wanna jump back in? No need to. Do it. Oh, I can splash cold water on my face, I'm already right back to being like, Bleh. God, I love I'm having just imagining <laughs> Nicolo looking off into, into space. Turning back. Oh, Arden, you want something? <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> oh, I just turned to, as they go off to get their swimsuits, I just turned to Nico. Did I, am I in trouble? Did I do something wrong? Believe me, Arden, I don't think you ever have to do something wrong around women. <laughs> uh, I don't, I don't know about that. Uh, yeah. I think that she may still angry. be a little. She's probably still a little. Hmm, miffed about the fight. Miffed? It seems as if the two of you were not. Uh, well. He like like looking like rem like rem remembering looking over seeing them like it's like she's like glaring at him after the fight and stuff just like. Mm. <laughs> I think you should. Uh, Apologize for the fight earlier. Uh, it's just thinking. It seems right. she was worried. It seems he was worried about you. Uh. Even if you don't think you did anything wrong, <laughs> <laughs> she was worried. I think. Right. But what I'll do I know? Talking. Every single person I get, I get into around here always yells at me. I don't know. <laughs> Shut up, swine. <laughs> it looks so, just looks over to manual, half open eyes, just slight glare. <laughs> that doesn't. Uh, uh, I thought that would feel better than it did. Uh, <laughs> yeah, all, you, all you gotta do is give her one of these, and I hand him a can of Dr Pepper. <laughs> How many of those did you think, manual? <laughs> I found a couple behind the counter when you guys weren't looking, so I, I, I have some more in my pockets. Throughout oh. the rest of the campaign, he's just gonna randomly pull one out. Alright, alright, alright. I, right, right, I only have like four pockets. Alright, Kendall Jenner. <laughs> yeah. I think go I got a seven a up in here somewhere. Go on, go on Emmanuel, go give him a Pepsi. Oh, no, it'd be a Sprite. I gotta, I gotta change brands. I gotta change parent companies. <laughs> I'm advertise for free. Pay me, Pepsi. <laughs> Just looks back to Emmanuel, looks over to Arden, gives a bit of a sigh, looks to the hot tub. Ugh. I'll show you who to call a swine, Emmanuel! And he's just gonna take off his shirt and get into the hot tub. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I hear pigs are very clean. <laughs> it's true. They're very clean. I'm gonna jump in. <laughs> They're very, very hygienic. Uh, you hurt yourself due to the lack of water. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's, it's not very deep. <laughs> it's fine. I'm dexterous. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to get 
blood on the water. Oh, I'll just I don't want to get blood in the There's water. There's already too much I was blood hit, in the water. I was hit with a fucking, like, 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 steel freaking rods. Where There's blood in this water me? already. <laughs> There's a shower over here if you want to get all the blood off you. Ah, oh, there you go. You push this little thing on the wall and it sprays you for like 10 seconds, which is not enough. And then you gotta push it again. <laughs> <laughs> not enough. I do so. <laughs> Fuck yeah. All right, and then I and then I will I will get in said, <laughs> said All right. water. How big is this thing again? It's like hot tub, but like, is it bigger than a hot tub or like what? That's the thing you're in. It's it's hot tub size, like and gathering. So it's yeah, any so for a normal person, it would come up to about like waist height, like just up to like a bit above your belly button. Uh, at its deepest, but there would be steps on the side of it that would basically be there so you could um, uh, sit and recline. Uh, it would have a slightly deeper side that would basically get to kind of pool length, uh, this particular one, but the majority of it is the, uh, like, sitting area hot tub sort Good. of. Good! Good! There's there's some room then. All right, before the, before the girls come back, have any of you ever played Marco Polo? <laughs> <laughs> no. Never. <laughs> What is that? Let me teach you! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Gino, I don't know if you can actually close your eyes. Can you close your eyes? Like, can you... Um... Can no I stop can seeing? Check. Can you stop seeing? I can, like, <laughs> I cover my face slits. <laughs> Alright, do that. Do that whenever you're it. I'll be it first. Alright! <laughs> uh, to be clear on where everybody is. So, uh, Niccolo, Emmanuel, and Gino. You guys are in the hot tub? Uh, I'm at the edge of that. I'm just sticking my feet. Arden, in. what are you doing? I have also gotten into the tub. Okay, and the girls are off trying on swimsuits. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Interesting. We got the boys' tub. Great. <laughs> Good. Six feet of fuck, cause we're not gay. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, here's the thing: we can't perhaps, do that. It's Pride Month. <laughs> I was gonna say perhaps not a very Pride Month joke. Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> Uh, that said, six okay. inches apart, cause who knows? <laughs> as you guys, as you guys I are. I apart, but we're comfortable in our sexuality. <laughs> <laughs> Five feet apart, cause I like personal space. Thanks. Cool. Don't know you very well. Uh, as you guys are doing stuff, you would. Those of you that are in the main room would become aware of the uh, the twins that you saw before. Uh, both of them are. Um, Heckin' uh, uh, black-haired women that look like they're of Asian descent uh, come in, Jasper and Violet again. Um, Mid-twenties-ish, you guys kind of get the same feeling off them that you get from Marile whenever you look at them, and given that you've been told everybody is here is a demon, you have can probably make an educated guess on what they are uh, as they come in, into the uh, the upper area. And they seem to look around as if looking to you guys and looking for who might be there. Um, oh. whenever you say that, they both, their eyes both fix on you. Excuse me, where did Marile go? That way, swimsuits. Hmm. Could we ask, um, you men mentioned before, when you came in, you said that a demon named Lilith is here, in the city. Hi. Uh-huh. Are you certain about that? We don't uh. know if there is actually in the city yet, but that is who Vanifor was calling out for. Mm. Big guy seems hey to guys, a puppy! Be. I heard a they puppy. Fuck you, alright? I <laughs> <laughs> can't get him to stop. <laughs> this <place has> everything. <laughs> <laughs> so Marley's over there? Yeah. He said they'll be back in a little bit. Are they there with the tiefling? With, with Theo? Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Why? You want me to take you there? That's perfectly okay. You gotta knock first, though, because they're probably getting changed. Hmm. We have some things that we need to talk to Marile about that they really can't wait. So, thank you very much. We can right. find them ourselves. Can you take this with you? You probably shouldn't be near the water. I'm just gonna hand them a puppy. <laughs> you don't have them a puppy. There's no puppy. Funny joke, there's no puppy. <laughs> um, Besides, I would never let them have that puppy. That's ours. That's ours now. <laughs> the two women uh, 
very sassily, like they have a very hip swing with each movement sort of walk to them. Uh, they give you the impression that speaking to you might be a little bit a waste of their time. Uh, they don't give off the best impression as they move, they walk past you guys. Um, I was going to say, whenever they were mentioning uh, Marile and having to speak to her, like, from being around Marile enough, is there any sort of check I can make to see if they are wanting to start some shit or something? Uh, so, from what you know about them, you know that they both basically think they run this place. Uh, they are not incredibly pleasant. You know that they can modify their form as they want to, and they specifically choose the forms they do because they like to play into people who, given the nature of the establishment, like might like the dynamic of, you know, two twins, um, as opposed to one twin? Hmm, weird way to qualify that. <laughs> but, um... Uh, you have known at different points, they've assumed the identities of being, uh, bitter rivals, they've assumed the identities of being sisters here, they've assumed the identity of being girlfriends here, like, you know a lot about them, so much so that you don't really know anything about them. You know that ah. everything you know is probably fake somewhere along the way. Um, but you do know they're divas. You do know that they're very uppity. Can I add one more thing? Yeah. When I said, uh, it's fuck you and fuck me, she actually said that and meant that. <laughs> 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 ah, gotcha. So as they are kind of making their way away, he's going to like eye them a bit, look over toward uh, toward the others. <laughs> Roll. Oh, oh, hold on. They're kind of scary. <laughs> they. They may not be. God, dog, shut up! <laughs> no. Someone get this dog. Anyway. Um... <laughs> they march over towards the back room, um, uh, heading towards where it is. Uh, there would be a knock followed by an almost immediate opening of the door that you guys uh, in the room you guys are in. I'll leave it up to you what state of dress you're in. This wouldn't have been too terribly long after you left, but it's your guys' call. I can. What you guys doing? We already picked out swimsuits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're yeah. probably suited up. Yeah. All right. Nice what are you barking for? <laughs> we, also, we also chose colors. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Good. Right, so you're welcome. Heckin, <laughs> anything that you choose, by the way, heckin, send it to me later in a in a DM. I. Oh, hell yeah. Because it's looking to me like Marile is probably going to win. Maybe one of the three people that wins the poll. So, I don't know. This seems like something that we could do with that. <gasps> <laughs> that said, um, no promises. Just stuff to that run That is by. how I die if, 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 if it comes true. Also, <laughs> I have a pepper now. Uh, as they... Oh, yeah. Hmm? I oh, know. I said hell yeah. She had Dr. Pepper anyway. Sorry. As they, <laughs> as they open the door and they walk in, the two of them... Pretty assertively walk into the room that you guys are in, both of you being in the swimsuits that you're in at this point. Um, they close the door behind them. Uh, you see one of them, uh, Fionula, you can't really distinguish between the two of them at this point. Uh, Marile, whenever you're talking to them, you, you know which one you're talking to. You can pick up on small mannerisms that distinguish the two of them when you do. Um, they close the door behind them. You see one of them, the one that you'd know to be Jasper, is uh, starts eyeing Fio very rudely, like, cross his arms, sways hip to the side, looking at Fio as if Fio is intruding in the room that they just entered into without, uh, announcing themselves. Uh, the other, Violet, looks towards them and looks towards you. You had mentioned that a demon named Lilith might be in the city. Your group did, anyways. Marile, I want to know, and I want to know now what you know about that. Oh, 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 okay. Knock, knock. Hi, hi, Sam and uh, hi, Sai and Am. Um. <laughs> they give you a very half-hearted, half-second smile, a very snide one. Then their face goes back to being very displeased. If you're asking for what I know, like, what do you mean? What do you know about them? Where are they? What are they doing? Have they talked to you? A lot of they, and not exactly a lot of who. Lilith. I did uh, uh, news to me. You All did? we know is that Veilfa said they were coming, that he was like looking for them. Um, and that's about it. He was like calling out for Lilith and Lucifer, and he was stomping around the city being all big and scary. 
<sighs> Why? The one eyeing you, Fio. Um, you see their expression soften somewhat, almost twists slightly. Um, becomes malicious, but is more of a positive one. Uh, again, one sec. Do, 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 do. I, as you look at them, you find yourself very briefly, there's this very soft, fuzzy feeling in the back of your head. Um, I'm gonna need you to make a wisdom save. Oh, oh. shit. Alright. Do it. Boop. Or don't. That's a 13. It's not terrible. Could be worse. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, tracks. Yep. <laughs> Once you look yeah. at them, you find yourself becoming slowly very enamored by them. Uh, only in currently only in as far as uh, you want to please the, this person, the one that just talked to you, uh, Jasper, or the one that looked at you. It's, all it seemed to take to make this effect activate was this very soft smile. They start walking one foot in front of the over, uh, in front of the other one towards you, and get close enough that they can whisper and they're very like are you sure you're telling me everything that you know it wouldn't be very nice of you to try to keep anything from me can I pick up on whatever they're doing you apps roll me insight normally I'd say no but you know their deal and it's kind of your deal as well yeah that is a 12 plus a 2 for a 14 <clears throat> Unfortunately, why did that happen? That was weird. Whenever I rolled that, it just gave me back an error. How strange. Um, you know, whenever they do, um, you you have a vague idea of how they're acting because this is the way that they act with customers. Mm -hmm. But you don't immediately pick up on what's happening. I will say, as you do, as you start to suspect that something might be going on between the two of them, and I'd say as you click into it, uh, Violet starts walking towards you, and they get intimately close to you. Walking up to you, they get close enough that, heckin, um, they basically get to the point of almost pressing their body up against yours, you feel like their hands touch your waist and very softly hold you in place. Uh, I actually need to pull you two to a different call at this point. Okay! Oh, fuck! So, Marco. bye guys! Bye! Hot tub gang! Wait, do I go to Oh, me too! <laughs> yep. I was like, wait, do I go to? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we are! As they do, Look. you're aware of what they're doing whenever they do it, but they get very close to you. Um, flirtatiously close. And I'm going to need you to roll me a uh, wisdom saving throw as well. Both of us? Just you. Oh, just me. Okay, wisdom <laughs> save. Wisdom save. Wisdom. Where? Saves. Wisdom. This one. Wow, my wisdom. I'm dumb. <sighs> no. Okay. Uh, whenever you do so, she gets very close just as you kind of clue in to what the two of them are doing. Theo, your eyes are kind of glazed over at this point. You're like, you're not entirely cognizant of everything that's happening around you. You just kind of accept it as uh, properly being, you know, totally natural. You feel yourself getting a little bit more flustered. Um, the other one, as it gets close to you, Marile, you briefly protest as you realize that they're doing what Succubi do. Uh, they are using their ability to coerce you, they're charming you, uh, just as you're about to fight back against it. They, not very aggressively, but they do pull you into them, and Theo, you feel this mild sense of embarrassment, but not enough to really act out and surprised as you see uh, one of the succubi very softly, uh, but very intimately kissing Marile. And Marile, you are charmed, unfortunately, with a six. There's not much that can be done about that. Oh, no. Um, as you are. This holds for a second. Again, whenever it happens, you clock it. You have this ability as well. But you feel any uh, desire to resist this sort of peel out of your mind slowly and uh, not to get 
too untoward about the situation, but you um, find yourself wanting to steer into it, and eventually they peel away. Perhaps you're more willing to comply now, Marile. Uh, DM Sama, do I know anything? <laughs> you don't. They. You really don't know more than you've told them. Um, they just don't believe you. Is all. Uh, no, I. Estoy diciendo la verdad. I don't know anything. She was like the first succubi or whatever. So you know that much. Mm-hmm. <sighs> yeah, just that fail file wants to hear. Don't really know why. Why does it matter so much to you anyway? They the one that is uh on you, Marile continues to hold you very close to them. Um you find of oh, there's a head rush as every contact they make with your body finds you kind of unable to snap back out of what's going on as you being half a succubi as well are trying to fight against it instinctively but you find it hard to I thought that you might know part of your own ancestry and understand what it means for the first of the succubi to be here mm -hmm. hey get close to your ear and they whisper very softly. We're going to have to be of service to her. <laughs> We've heard her whispering in our ears for a while, but haven't known what it is. Mm -hmm. uh, I haven't heard anything. The two of us came to the human world because we wanted to get away from her. But if she's come to find us and she's going to be here, there's not much we can do but offer ourselves up to her. And we would like you to do the same. You feel one of their hands slowly, like, glides up your back again, causing your head to go fuzzy as you try to push your way out of this. <laughs> I'd like you, later tonight, to escort your friends up to the roof of this place. Uh, why the roof? That's where we were told to go to meet her. The progenitor of demons. The original of any of our kind holds a certain influence over us. We've heard her whispering in our ears. We just didn't know it was her. I think that we should turn you and your friends over to them. I, I think she would be more than lenient with you though. Mm -hmm. A half-breed as you are. Mm -hmm. Can you do that for us, Marile? Uh, uh, um... Uh, I, I'd like to at least ask them. Uh, mm -mm. Can I hit... Don't tell them what it's for. <laughs> Normally you're very rambunctious, and we tolerate that. But we need you to do as you're told. Mm -hmm. I want to get the fuck out! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Both of you, okay? Get your friends, even if it's just a couple of them, up to the roof of this place tonight. Mm -hmm. We don't know what she wants. But we'd be happy to offer you all up as a gift. Anything. Mm -hmm. Violet again presses forward. Once again, very intimately kisses you. Then pulls back. Good. Don't disappoint us. Claro que no. 
the one that was watching you, Fio, uh, they, they turn. They again give a very domineering, controlling smile towards you. They head out. They exit when they do. The entire conversation felt normal, the feelings you that you felt. Uh, they didn't strike you as coming from outside of you. Any thoughts about them um, acting untoward slip out of your mind? They're interesting. Uh, yes. Uh, they are, um... <clears throat> yes. Um... Hey. So, this one looks very good on you. I like it. <laughs> I mean, do, do you think it looks... Yeah, look, looks okay? I think anyone who you want to look at you will be unable to look away. No, you only want to look at me. It's, it's like for me, you know. Like, I like it, but do you like it? You know, these things better than, you, you know. Well, it looks very good on you, like I said. And if you like it, then there's no reason why you shouldn't wear it. I'm playing with, like, her <laughs> curls frantically. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah you're right. We... I shouldn't keep the boys waiting. <laughs> now they're gonna do stupid stuff if we've gone too long. Mm -hmm. Shall we? No, yes. take a hand. Oh. <laughs> yes, let's. Alright. Let's head back to the other chat then. What? I've been molested. Back hey guys, hello. You, you guys, guys dead? A lot yeah. of you see leaving kind of in a relative huff the uh, the, the sisters, the succubi, move out, and they regard all of you and kind of dismissively look like they didn't get what they want from whatever that conversation was. They turn their noses up at you effectively, and they continue to walk by the lot of you and back towards the stairwell that leads between the floors. Relatively soon after, uh, Fianula and Marile also emerge, now wearing swimsuits. Oh. Before Fionnula and Marla get here, it's just like watching them leave. It's like, uh, and this is why I hate this place. <laughs> <laughs> but then the swimsuit happens. Like, oh, this is why I love you this see, place. I'm kidding. <laughs> you see two Genos in the pool as they play Marco Polo. <laughs> <laughs> he was using his freaking echoes to teleport away when he said Polo. It's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> fucking cheating. But I rolled perception. Oh, I got a 24. Sounds like you guys were having fun. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Welcome back. I, Hello. I was, uh, I was all that. Was Everything nice. all right? Really? Um, yeah. Raises an eyebrow, looks over at Marley. Yeah, they I seem don't... very upset. Uh, oh, that's I unfortunate. I don't see why. They were actually very nice for once. Hmm. All right. Yeah, we just talked. Yeah, just talked. Get in the pool, you nerds. Okay. <laughs> oh, sit down. I'll get in next to Oz and just kind of. Oh, if you get in the pool, you have to make the biggest splash possible. Okay. I'll back up and I will splash into the pool, making sure to splash Oz in. <laughs> <laughs> really, no com really, no compliments. After all, we picked these all just for all of you. Oh, really? I've been. Thank you. I have been avoiding really? looking at you both. I like it. <laughs> But I don't know why. You both look very pretty. <laughs> Thank you, Manny. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> Real good. Is it okay? Bad, Martin? You might have been in the hot tub too long. I'm gonna put my hand I'm... on his forehead. <laughs> I, uh, I'm, I'm fine. This is just, this is. Yep. Does it look bad? This is no, why I look, but no, I'm fine. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, not, not at all. Not at all. Um, you both, you both look. He looks up finally. Crap. Uh, <laughs> How's your chance? As soon as as soon as he says, as soon as it says crap, it's just like great. You both look great. <laughs> 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 Trying to yeah, cover the great. crap that he just said. <laughs> <laughs> you, I've never won anything like this before. It's really fun. Mm -hmm. You look really good in it. <clears throat> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Best thing about this is that it doesn't have to just be one in the pool. Really? It's fair, mm -hmm. you can kind of wear them wherever you want. 
It's mm -hmm. cool. Honestly, what you're wearing, Marley, isn't too different from what you wear, except you don't have a jacket. <laughs> and the half of this side is missing. <laughs> <laughs> Holy it's... crap. What? <laughs> what? So, it, yeah. they were nice for once, Marile, the people that you always complain about every single time you have a chance to when you come home? Yes, they were absolutely a delight. Mm -hmm. They were asking about, like, Lilith or something. Did they ask you about that too? What can I say? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> they just... They asked you guys oh. about Lilith. They asked what details you knew, and that's basically the extent of it. Yeah, I mean, they asked, but I don't really know that much. Yeah, I just know oh. to talk yeah. to you guys, so, you know. Well, oh, maybe yeah. they just, uh, maybe they just noticed I was here and turned their nose up, as they always do. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> yeah, see, it seems to do that to you a lot, Niccolo. I'm not very easy to get along with. <laughs> Who's, who dares call me? <laughs> it's like Nicola knows. He's like, I'm not very easy to get along with. Like, he's like, I'm not making it easy for them. He's <laughs> like, I, it's not like I've done nothing wrong. No, he knows he's fucking being a little shit. <laughs> Arden. Yeah. The Dr. Pepper. Do what about it? <laughs> Chance. Go to give it to her. For some reason. What? <laughs> Do you want a Dr. Pepper? Fian? There you go, you did it. I'm proud of you. Thanks. Um, thanks, I guess. Arden. You're welcome, I get. Oh my. <laughs> Awkward shift. Yeah. <laughs> Crack it open and just drink it. <laughs> I love the bubbles. Thanks, Emmanuel. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yep. I'm sorry, I had to take a phone call. You've <laughs> been standing there for a while. You've been standing, for, standing there for a while. <laughs> <laughs> you, are you getting in, Mar are you getting in, Marile? <laughs> uh, oh yes, I'm sorry. I just got a little bit um, sidetracked, <laughs> and she's just gonna go in. Mm -hmm. So, so, yo, what's up? Yo, um, <sighs> how do I ask this without leading? Um, <laughs> you drag Nicolo to another chat. Yeah, I'd like to talk to you in private here for a sec, Cody. Hell yeah! <laughs> Again. Hey, actually, I'm gonna kick. I'm actually gonna remove you for just one second, um, and then I'm gonna bring you back. Okay. Gotcha. Hey, chat. Uh, heckin. I just wanted to take this very brief moment to talk about. Uh, I haven't looked at the chat, but. Issues like that can get kind of uncomfortable, like what just happened, and obviously there's no way for us necessarily to um, know exactly what we're going to be doing improv-wise. I want to apologize if anybody in the chat was uncomfortable about that, or the situation. Um, that is what we steer into when we're playing. I want you to know that it, we're coming at it from a perspective of uh, the game, and moving the story forward, and we understand if anybody's uncomfortable about it, and if anybody... Uh, needs to step away or take a break. We're absolutely not going to be offended. Um, but yeah, apologies for that. I That's not a habit we're going to get into. Succubi and Incubi are what they are, and they have methods for control, and that, especially given the DMC thing, um, that we're playing a game that is highly stylized in this way, seemed like the thing to do. But I didn't want to wait till after to say this. I wanted to immediately address it in case anybody's uncomfortable. Um, and apologize if anybody was made uncomfortable. And in the future, if we have to steer into things like that again, there's no way for us to content warning it, because that was a thing that was kind of random in regards to who it was going to affect and in what way, because everybody obviously had no control over who separated out. Um, I hope you guys understand that that's a, the game, and that that situation is not a vibe that we personally as people, as DMs, as players want to cultivate um 
I can... That's... As far as I'll say on that, I don't want to get too, you know, preachy, but I just wanted to take a second to say that. And back into the game we go. I am going to check in with the others. I've already sent them messages. I'm going to check in with the players as well. I want everybody to know, to see how they are. They've already kind of messaged me saying they're fine with what just happened, but... Wanted to remind you guys we all take care of each other, and we as players have session zero this kind of thing. And that we are presumably not uncomfortable with it at our own table. Uh, yeah, sorry for this as being a little awkward side thing. Back in we go. Hello! Here I am! I'm back! Never did I... Do we leave. assume you always have Detect Magic on? Yes. <laughs> Let's see. 100%. Okay. I need to check something real quick. Gotcha. Boop a doo, boop a doo, boop a doo, boop a doo, 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 doo. It'd be fun if my watchdoggy thing activates at some point. That'd be pretty neato. Indeed. Except you know, it's gonna probably make make me mad. <laughs> doo, 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 doo. Who knows though, man. I'll let you know then. Ah. <sighs> I will let you know that whenever the others came back, um, as whenever they came within the pool, uh, if you do have Detect Magic on basically all the time, which I'm willing to believe that you do, uh, you would have sensed a faint magical presence coming from Marile and Theo. That they are... There is some kind of magical effect on them. And with that information... And with that information, we're gonna head back! Okay! Hey. Oh. Yo, what up? Hey. Again, just killed a man. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> well, we well, all knew that. Uh, <laughs> I'm, all, I'm all the dead. What? I'm all I'm, I'm dead. You see, I'm all the dead. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, he just dropped dead in the pool. You know, maybe I've been in the pool too long. Nicolo go. Nicolo looks over at everybody and then he gets out of the pool. <laughs> well, we just started. Well, what's wrong? Uh, mm. Mm. <laughs> Why well, you cheat the system? You just put your feet in. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I won't cheat anymore. I, I'm, I might, I might be, I might be reading uh, some of my abilities. Give me a second. <laughs> no. <laughs> I went, I went, I went to go use the potty and get a slice of cheese. What I miss? What a good. Nico's choice. trying to leave. <laughs> Nico's trying to leave the the pool. Uh, All right, what? so nothing I have. Nothing I have does anything. Got it. Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> hmm. Where are you going? Looking over toward uh, toward everyone, sort of looking back toward the the uh, the entrance to this place. Uh... He seems to look over everyone here, and then his eyes lock on Gino. Gino, can I talk to you for a second? Uh, about sure. your cheating. <laughs> uh, oh, look, man, I'm sorry. I won't do it again, okay? No, no. I, th I feel like we need to talk about it. <laughs> oh, jeez, okay. He's gonna get out of the pool. Gino's <laughs> in trouble. Gino's <laughs> in trouble. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> Arden, uh, be sure to take care of these two. Anyway. <laughs> oh, wait. Wait, hold on. Oh, <laughs> oh. She just uh, just shimmies her way to Arda and just throws her arms around him. You're going to take care uh, of me? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to dunk my whole self into the hot tub. <laughs> <laughs> Underneath as soon as that happens. Nicolo gave you, per Nicolo gave you permission. He sure did. I don't <laughs> <laughs> and then we cut sure away. <laughs> says. So, uh, Cody and, the camera, Cody and and then Eric, we cut away. Cody and Eric, should I take you guys to a separate call? Uh, because it's yeah, yeah, I'd say so. Okay, let's go to a separate call. <laughs> That's what today is. Go ahead. Uh, so we get a little bit away from from the from them. I'd say like we're we're near where all where like all of the all the like rooms and stuff are, right? Mm-hmm. Just like one of the rooms that is the closest to like the exit of this part of the floor, he will go and like motion Gino in, and then he will enter and he will lock the door behind him. <laughs> oh. 
fuck. Okay. I didn't realize you were that upset. Gino. What? How old are you with illusions? Illusions? What do you mean? You said it was a, 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 an illusion, right? No, just a magical effect. Oh, just magical effect. Okay. Uh, if you, if you, how old are you with magic in general? Um, I mean, I can't really use any. I can make like a copy of myself. If people were to use it on you. Um. I don't know. No one's tried. Not that I know of. <sighs> Why? Because I don't know how well I would be by myself, and I cannot... I don't know what happened to those two. Those two? You mean Theo and Marley? They've been affected by magic. Oh. I have a way of sensing it. They, when they came back, they were under a magical effect, obviously put on them by those two girls that just left. Oh, okay. I didn't know. I know that you are different. I had thought that perhaps if I were to ask you if you could aid me, it would be better than if all of us started acting like nothing was wrong. I believe I would like to go and talk to Mama, but I would like to have you around in case they case tried something. anything on me. Yeah. I'm looking at my ability just to make sure I don't have any. I don't think Warforce have anything. Like Nothing against charmed. being charmed, I don't believe. Yeah. You've got. You back up. I can give it. Constructor resilience. <sighs> You have advantage on saving throws against being poisoned and resistance to poison damage, uh, but you, you're. And I cannot be put to sleep with. He magic, was the only but... one. He was the only one he would that he like even thought about yeah. would be any use because like it's like a manual. He's not putting a kid in that. Freaking Arden, no. <laughs> 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 uh, all right, I. I wanted to bring up. I don't not trust you, Gino. I know that you've been doing the best you can. There is a part of me that is hesitant around you because of what we do know about everything that's going on here. But I think that you're a good kid. Can you please watch over me while I go and talk to Mama? Yeah. Although kid seems to be an inaccurate term these days. <laughs> you're, you're whatever you believe you are, right? Um, two thousand, I guess. So, <laughs> let's. Uh... Your brother that makes you a kid. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <sighs> Come on, I do not want to know what they've done. Well, I do, but I don't want to be here when. Let's just go. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, let's go. <clears throat> All right. So you guys are heading down to talk to uh, to Mama. Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna tell on. I'm gonna tell on them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell Mama on them. <laughs> Fucking narc. All righty. As you, so are you heading straight from those rooms to like head downstairs. Yep, he's okay. not even like Yo, putting let's, on let's, anything. Let's anything. pop back into the chat real quick, cause you gotta go buy yeah, them let's all. Let's go, let's go back. Alright, let's go back. No go. Hey, what's up, man? Hey guys. Oh, welcome back. Oh, so, uh, you, you guys, you guys, uh, heckin', you see... Eric Martin? Uh, you guys see, uh, Gino and Niccolo come out of the rooms that you guys had, like, kind of... Not the same room you guys had been in, but that hallway that leads to those rooms. You see them come out, uh, I'm pretty directly march past you guys and head towards the stairwell. What's going on there? More drinks! <laughs> yep. Yep. More drinks? More drinks. More drinks. Be right back. Uh, 
Uh, yes, roll inside. We know that's what you're asking. Go ahead, roll inside. Boy, am I coached. <laughs> I don't feel like I need to roll inside that bad. They're being real sketch. They're, 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 they're reasonably trying to act normal, I'll say, for the purposes of this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, you would get that they're kind of acting sketch. Uh, you would definitely pick uh -huh. up on that, but it doesn't... I don't know why. Yeah. They're not acting more sketch than usual. I'm kidding. <laughs> Niccolo's been a bit off since he got here, and Gino doesn't know what to make of this place. So there's a part of you, and you can play this however you want. But there's a part of like you. I can rationalize. Yeah, it's weird. like oh, they're just uncomfortable because everyone, everything here is fucking hates Niccolo. Like, yeah. It's like that's that's all right. We'll have fun then. <laughs> take care of those two. Stop I'll it. Take, I'll take good care of him. And he'll take good care of me, right? Take good care uh, of him, Marty Day. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys head to the stairwell? Yep. Cool, yep. good talk. We're gonna go back into a private call for a sec, guys. We just had to, just had to figure out what was going on there. Bye, everybody! <laughs> I love DMS! Uh, what is- Alright, hello again. <laughs> I hate doing this to everybody, but it is what it is. You guys uh, go downstairs. Uh, as you go down, you see that, again, Gilligan's uh, doesn't seem to be in the main area. He's headed somewhere else. Uh, as you head down, um, Mama is sitting in the same place with her two bodyguards near her. Heckin' Hadley and God darn... Gosh darn, heckin' Radley and Hadwin. Is uh, the other two... The other two aren't here. Though. They are not there. Their names again? Violet and Jasper. Jasper. That's oh, Jasper's the one I keep getting up. All right. Da, da, da. Mama, did I mention how good it was to see you when I came? Dude, how good it was to see me, Nicolo. Yes. What of do course. you want? Uh. You said we could have any sort of amenities while we were here, and we'll be treated pretty well while we were here, right? Yes. If you require anything here, then just ask Marile, and she can get it for you, Nicolo. Oh, I'd love to ask Marile, except that I think Marile is under the magical influence of one of your girls. Are you accusing my babies of fighting one another? Yes. I am sure they're just having a minor spat. Nothing that you would understand, Nicolo. You... You may not know this about me, uh, Mama, and I would not... I would not put it past. I, I, I know that you are just here to take care of everything and to handle all of them, and I have a particular set of skills that aids me in finding things like this out. <sighs> Jasper and... Now it's the other one that's going away from my head. <sighs> Violet and Jasper. Violet and Jasper. Jasper not... and Violet went to speak with Maride and with Fionula. And when they returned, they were under the influence of a magical effect. You can hear the beeps from here. <laughs> <laughs> those are those are magical beeps. Oh God! <laughs> Don't mind him. Don't mind him. Okay. <laughs> you are, are saying they... you are saying that you believe that my girls have used their seductive abilities on one another. Yes. And to what end do you believe they would do that? Before they went and talked with Marile, they were asking about that Lilith person. And when they returned, they looked as if they were not happy with what they had learned, if they learned anything. And again, Marile and Yonula do not seem to recall hardly anything odd happening. Do you not know how Maride feels about them at all? Like, 
The girls fight. It is the nature of talent here. It is fine. However, if they are using abilities to try to persuade one another in a time when the business is not even open, that is... She, like, briefly stops, inhales, blows out some smoke from, uh, after taking a drag from her cigarette. That is... unusual for them. Roll me persuasion, a... Nicola. You keep a tight ship here, Mama. <clears throat> I... I do respect that, as I'm gonna roll for it and be really bad at it. <laughs> They're not. We're in a room with her alone, right? Uh, yeah. Um. Well, Maurice is there uh, at the counter. This is the main room. Ah, uh, not very okay. good at these. There, I just wanted to know if the two girls that we're talking about are in the room with us. No, uh, no, they are not. They are not here. Okay, cool. <laughs> but I am not sure what you want me to do about it. It sounds like a problem between the girls. And if Marile and Fionilla cannot do anything about it because they are in some way changed, do you then at least think that I can do something about it? <sighs> so you are saying that Marile has been influenced properly, that she is currently under their influence? Yes. I had forbidden them, as well as Marile, from doing any such things to anybody else here. Or using their talents for anything that is not business related. You aren't sure they did not just use their abilities to enhance a stress relieving activity, Niccolo? Do you think you might just be misunderstanding what they did? If they did, you would think that that would be what they would say happened. But they have not said anything. They were not in there that long. And Molly Lay does not like them. She has told me many nights. Hmm. Roll me another persuasion check. This one will be definitive. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna roll a. Uh, I'm gonna roll a heckin' versatile DC Aya! against you. <laughs> it's an eleven. <laughs> Well, Niccolo, you are as dense as you are handsome, and so I think you have misunderstood something. However, if the girls have begun some kind of spat at this most dire time, then I would like to get to the bottom of it. You see her stand. They, they went upstairs and I did not see them come down. Are the girls currently up with Marile? They had left, uh, left the pool area. I do not know where they went afterwards. They might have gone up to the roof. Mm -hmm. But why would they do that if they are not upstairs? Ah, never mind. Let us go see them. Emmanuel, not you caught all this. You would be in the stairwell. You would see them heading towards where you are. What would you like to do? I flee. You flee? So you flee? Back up? I okay, flee. cool. <laughs> Bringing everybody oh, back in yeah. here. What's up, guys? Oh, hi. Hey, what's up? Uh, so I've murdered both Arden and Marilyn. Of course. No one else stands but me. So you guys, you guys, <laughs> you guys just noticed that Emmanuel left as ah. you see him returning. Emmanuel, you would have like a solid maybe ten seconds on the others coming up the stairs as you rush back into the room. Who's off and I stick her back in the hot tub? Hi. Hey, where'd she go? <laughs> oh, that way. What was that way? Stairs. Oh, how many stairs? They go up and down. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm, guessing, I'm guessing you didn't find the closet with the toys. No, I didn't find it. Oh, well, I might have been to the right. Hmm. Marile, uh, as you say this and you kind of are looking around the room, you see, you hear footsteps coming up the stairs, you hear the sound of Gino walking up. Uh, as you do, you hear some other heavier footfalls and you see uh, Mama Marigold along with uh, Hadley and um, Radley and Hadwin also uh, enter into the room. You see that she has, along the way, picked up a cane that you often see her carrying, a very lavish looking, just like slick black one as a... Uh, she continues to take very long drags from the cigarette that she's got. She walks over towards you. Marine, can I speak to you for a second? 
I am quite popular tonight, it seems. Okay. Uh, yes, of course, mummy. As she walks very directly over to you and you stand, she holds her cane out to the side, to which uh, Hadley just reaches down and just takes it between two of his very large fingers. As she does, she brings her hand back and she slaps you across the face with the back of her hand. <gasps> I need to roll damage against you, assuming that you don't try to dodge this. You can tell me if you do. No, she would She would never expect her mommy to slap her. <laughs> I'd like you to roll another wisdom save, and I'd like you to do so with advantage. Uh, oh, fuck. Uh, 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 advantage. How do I... Oh, just roll it. Oh, wait, Just hit, hit the advantage button in the... Yeah, 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 wisdom save. Oh, my God. <laughs> Money, <right? laughs> I don't know what that After means. she slaps you, there's just a moment of silence as the crack from it rings out through the area. And you just see her stop holding her hand up. She slowly lowers it. I would like you to tell me exactly what it is you are speaking about with Jasper and with Violet. The effect is not ended, just so you know. Uh, no. Mummy, they, they just asked me about Lilith, but I don't... I don't know any- Nicolo, put those worthless eyes of yours to use. Is it still in effect? Is it still in effect? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. She slaps you again. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he kind of looks away a bit like I'm When I ask you a question, oh, Marile, I expect you to give me an honest answer. Roll it again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna aim my gun at mom. Oh no! Oh my god! With advantage again or no? Many, um, With advantage. Many, no. You were being so nice to Oh us. my god! <laughs> <laughs> Mommy, but I didn't. I'm telling the truth. I didn't do anything. I don't know anything about some Lilith. Roll me. I'm going to be in so much trouble. Roll me a, <laughs> roll me a deception check. Ah, no! Me? They're good yep. at those! Fuck! Oh. Uh, Fail, you bard! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Fuck! <laughs> there is a second of... Uh, almost sadness in their eyes as you see them look at you, now with red marks on each of your cheeks, um, as you see their expressions soften somewhat. Then you see their eyes sharpen. Do not lie to me, Marile. And she slaps oh. you again. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Roll it again with advantage. I'm, I'm sorry that this is how it's gotta go, but this I is... I'm just getting bitch slapped. You are! Uh, with advantage. <laughs> with adva so roll it again. Oh my god, Marile! Uh, wis also, it's, it's wisdom. It's wisdom. And roll it again. Oh, I did yeah, the wrong one! Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> With advantage? That, oh, well, no, that the, 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 the one. Okay. It would seem they have wrapped their claws around you quite securely. Nicolo, it's still in effect, is it not? Are you going to keep yes. slapping me? Yes. <laughs> Nicolo, do you have any means to get rid of this kind of magic? I could hit them. <laughs> like, points to, like, where, like, like, I could find them and hit them. <laughs> my baby like as after this you're like kind of hit down <laughs> on the ground receding she gets close to you uh she walks over to you she puts one of her hands on your shoulder i am trying to do what is best for you i do not know what trouble you have gotten yourself into i don't know what you're talking about they just came in and they asked questions and they were very nice and then they left i do not believe ever that they are very nice she puts her <laughs> hand out the cane is passed to her and she strikes you with it Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. Jesus Christ, I'm going to fire a shot at the ground in front of us. Do this so really quick. Roll wisdom a wisdom save with advantage. She knows that physical pain can snap people out of this. I know. <laughs> hey, as you do this, no. as she strikes you with the cane, you raise up your gun and you fire it, Emmanuel. It strikes in front of her and she stops. Marila, you collapse back and hit the ground. Uh, kind of crumpled down into place as your senses come to and what happened to you 
is revealed in your mind for being exactly what it was. As this happens, uh, Mama's kind of taking a step back, has the cane, she pats it into one of her hands, just kind of slaps it into the other one. And as she sees your eyes clearing, she puts the cane out to you, puts it under your chin, and raises up your head. Are you thinking clearly now? I need to wash my mouth out, Mommy. I'll tell you in just a moment. <laughs> she sticks her head in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> now, who What's was it? Nicolo, who else did you say that this was done to? <laughs> you see him look at Arden and then look over at Fionula, give a very pitying look to Fionula, and then point to her. <laughs> uh-uh. Uh-uh, no. <laughs> um, Put maybe. down the firearm, child. She starts walking towards... Theo. They're, they're trying to help Emmanuel. She knows you're gonna go over to Emmanuel and like kinda like lower the gun. I'm going to resist you. Uh, roll me <laughs> this, this roll is, me athletics. They're not or <laughs> you guys roll a grapple check between the two of you, please. Listen, this is they're not right in the head right now, Manny. Be my nine. You can't. <laughs> game game two style points. You reach over, picks him up, and just raises him up into the air. Emmanuel, you are now pointed up towards the ceiling. Theo, Mama is walking towards you, smacking her cane into her hand. I'd like to note that you do not have any of your armor or weapons. They are currently off of you. What uh, what, what would you do in this situation, do you feel? Just fucking run. <laughs> Real quick. Yeah. That's probably good enough. I'm gonna grab her. <laughs> Please roll a grapple check against... Uh, who, who's, Theo, who's her? Fio? Fio. Okay, please Theo, roll a grapple so check against Arden. her. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Nineteen. Oh, oh, no. No. <laughs> Fio, don't be good at it. Fio manages to slip away and gets away from you, Arden, as you grab for them, yeah. detecting that something's definitely going on here. Mm-hmm. Uh, Fio! No, come back! Oh, Fio? Oh, get hit? Okay. I, I understand, <laughs> but it, it might be necessary. I need to get hit? Fuck you, Arden! No. As she, it's only temporary. As she passes by a pool table, Mama picks up a one of the pool balls, <gasps> tosses it into the air, and baseball bats it with the cane at you. I'm going to roll an attack against you, Theo. <laughs> oh my god, if that hits. This hits, I might Pull well, a Dante! That, that hit. That. Oh my yeah. god. So what I'm hearing is we need to bring Mama Mary Gold and just have her deal with Bill for You take <laughs> three. Right, please Jesus. roll me a wisdom save with advantage. Cool. I want this bitch to have please art. Succeed. You succeed! You. She takes it, she takes the eight ball off of the table, tosses it into the air, cracks it with the cane, it strikes square between your horns, and you fall back, and what happened in the room becomes clear to you as well. The charm effect is now gone. Oh! Are you okay? Oh! You're really strong! Oh pull. my gods! Eight ball in the tiefling. <laughs> <laughs> I Are do not tolerate okay my girls being handled and mistreated here without my consent. Now, <laughs> Marile, get your head out of the pool. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Purify me, somebody, purify me, please! What the hell happened? Baby. Uh, who's the closest guy in my general vicinity? Uh, that, we're gonna go ahead and say... Niccolo, probably, given that okay. Arden was on Theo. <laughs> okay, hi, Niccolo, you're getting kissed. Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, that's much better, thank you. Okay. Uh, what are you doing? Are you thinking for yourself now? They used tongue. What the hell happened? What the fuck happened in there? Uh, I can, I can sense when magical things are happening to people. They were under some sort of effect. What oh. happened in there? Oh. Okay. Well, um, you know, you know that thing I do. They can do the same. 
Well, yes, they're full succubi. I'm only half. So take what I do and make it ten times worse and not as sexy, which is why they have to do persuasion in the first place. Oh. Oh. So, what all happened in there? Okay. <clears throat> Give me a second. Um. <clears throat> they kissed Marile a whole bunch. She just talked oh to me. God. She just talked to me, and then I like felt all weird <clears throat> and like fuzzy, and I like squoosh my hair. It's like my head felt all, like fuzzy, and they they kissed Marile like a whole bunch, like. Like, probably what Marile was doing to Briar. Oh, if they both kiss me, out of them, come oh. here, please. <laughs> what? Uh, honey, okay. No, 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 it's okay. Actually, it's okay. No, no. No, I no am... go ahead. If you, if you guys want kissed, it's fine. No. Doesn't... No, 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 no. Go it's ahead. Okay. No, it's okay. I need to be composed because right now is not the time for me to worry about the fact that I have been desecrated. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> Emmanuel, are you going to be good? I ready the ring. <laughs> no, 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 everything's fine. No one's going to hit anyone anymore, Manny. Okay, now. From the beginning, after the events that we will not talk about anymore. Uh, they, um, they did that. And they talked about offering to Lilith. Uh -huh. Because they are full succubi, they hear the whispers in the ear. I haven't heard a thing, but whatever. The whispers in their ear, calling to them to do her bidding. And she wanted Fionula and I to take you to the roof, under the guise of a romantic stargaze, under the frozen city of dead millions, and offer you to the Senora Lilith. Oh. All right then, let's go. To the roof? <coughs> Might as well. Why? Why? That's so a you stupid idea. Because if it's not us, it's going to be someone else. We have to stop them. Uh, oh, we just kill those two. That's why we're Sorry. going to the roof. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> we're not going to kill them. But why we not? do need to stop them from doing what they're going to do. And Mama can decide what to do after that. Hmm. Yeah, but they were asking us to bring you to the roof, so we just don't bring you to the roof. Are you cool with us killing me, yes or no? I wish to know exactly what their intentions were, and Marile, I believe that you believe what you are saying, but you also hate them very much, so I would like to hear it from their mouths, what they are doing. If they lie, I will know. Well, couldn't they just do to you what they did to Marile? They would not dare. <laughs> what if they dared? Did they will not dare boy. If we all go up, then we well, sure, may sure. have some way to go against them. I think we should all make our way there. We should be ready to fight if we have to. But, as Mama said, there has been enough killing. Unless we are... have no choice. Sure, Is that right. agreeable to you, Mama? If they meant to hurt my baby, then they will be fired. And if they are fired, they are no concern of mine. Nods. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. You got it. What is that cane made of, Mama? Hmm? The cane. What is it made out of? <laughs> You think I know what canes are made out of? It's made out of fucking, uh... Yeah, <laughs> cane material. Demon it's made of it's pristine, high-quality cane. It's ivory, I guess. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Oh my god, that thing would be so expensive. <laughs> yeah, what a bougie bitch. Yeah, <laughs> She's a bougie bitch. Swirling expansions and worlds beyond your imagination. Can't think of what the fuck a cane's made out of. Listen, <laughs> I don't... I don't... <laughs> what? I didn't do extensive research on canes. I don't know what canes are made out of. Fucking... They're made of cane material. You don't know what canes are made of. <laughs> They're made out of wood and or metal and or plastic and Listen, or ivory. Well, this one's made out of bone. This one's made out of ivory, I guess. <laughs> wow. 
Oh. Uh, just looking over everyone, do they seem they they seem fine, right? Like enough. Everybody like, else, I'm, I'm no one fine, else, no one so. else seems to be under any effects. Yeah. Hmm. Let's go well. and see what. Let's go and see what they plan to do to people. Uh, I'm still really like... confused. So, so Manda, you remember that 2012 smash hit Avengers? Uh, remember what Loki did to the dude? When he made him like work for him, it's like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that we can just. just I love that we're, we are we're playing like, a D and D game where we can make pop culture references <laughs> in character. <laughs> Nicolo just looks over, sees that work, and go. I need to remember every movie I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> He's a fucking cheat code of a manual. <laughs> I've determined that Gino's favorite movies that he watched with a manual were MCU movies. <laughs> that makes sense. I to watch movies. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, given this, um, <laughs> is the, the group heading up to the roof now? I assume that certain members would want to put their armor back on. Yes. Yeah. Uh... Who Jack needs armor? I'm still going bare chest. No, I'm kidding. I put my armor on. <laughs> <laughs> Do we want to take an hour? Because body lay, it looks like she took a fair amount of damage. You, you could take five. Right. You can, you can take the heck in. We would have been good enough for like a short rest. I ga actually like, gave you guys a long rest earlier. Um, oh, okay. Just okay. because you guys have been here and you've been reclining. A short rest, if you want to take five minutes and just have them roll hit points, you could. Right, it's five minutes. Get some hit, get some hit. If you want to have not, right? here, I'll, t I'll, I'll say this. If you do want to take the hour, I will consider the long rest to be now so you guys don't burn one of them um, so that we can give Marile it back. If you want to wait an hour. I'm fine uh, to wait an hour, but yeah. I don't mind. Okay. And then you go. Yeah. When exactly, like, this like looks over like, when exactly did, it, did they expect us up there? They didn't give us a hour? time. They didn't give a time, they just kind and of... let's take the hour. <laughs> it was like, in the dead of night, and they were all weird and shit I'm still, as they are. I'm still sore from the, from the iron, from the freaking iron bars or whatever it was that hit me. <laughs> you want like a back Rock. massage or something, Nicolo? Can someone, can someone please caress me, they touched me everywhere. I will hug Marile. Thank you, please. There you go. There's, there's the back massage. Give her a back massage. <laughs> Thank you, Fionula. <laughs> Take us. Hey, Ardem, roll my, rub my shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very light. I can walk on your back. That would be nice, actually. Yes. <laughs> okay. This is what someone I mean. needs walking on their back. This is what I, I mean. This is what I mean, mommy. I've been violated, and he does nothing for me. <laughs> I cannot that, expect I a, a heathen to understand. A you. I sent a cute tiefling to you. I, I, I went out of my way to talk to mommy for you. <laughs> as much as I love Fionula, maybe I need the, ar the arms of a big, strong man. You don't have the lips of a big, strong man. <laughs> maybe I want more. <laughs> oh. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Uh, <laughs> Just make sure that you're fine and nothing will happen to you, okay? Yes, of Take a rest. Sit down. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make a new mutagen. Okay. What are you gonna make? <laughs> I'm gonna make uh, shielded. Alrighty. So how can uh, you get one right now, right? Yeah. Okay. So get rid of the other ones. Are you gonna drink it? Not just yet. Okay. I can do it on a bonus <laughs> action, so. Bad. Are you gonna drink it? No, I'm gonna make them drink it. It's poisoned. <laughs> it's poisoned. <laughs> it'll have no effect on them right. because it's, it only works it's, on me. It's still basically <laughs> midday by this point. Like it is uh, currently. It's got a while. It's, it's 12 p.m. It is the afternoon. Yeah. Looking out the windows, there is a couple on the like the back side of the building and on the second floor in particular. There's a uh, there's like a balcony that shutters are closed over right now to keep the cold out. But when you like look out it. You can see the snow's picked up enough that uh, it's effectively whiteout conditions outside, but not so much that you couldn't see in front of you if you needed to. Like, if you were on the roof, you could see the roof. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's up to you what you guys want to do and how long you want to take. So during that five minutes, it just, like, points over to Emmanuel and Arden. So what are you supposed to just take me and Arden, or are you going to take Emmanuel and Gino too? What, 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 what's the thing there? <laughs> they said... All of you. 
Mm. All right. Good so they have, a way, they have a way to, to deal with all of us, at, the, at, at a group of us. So let's make sure we are prepared for that. Did they seem <laughs> to just want us specifically? Or just like, just, yeah, just bring anybody like them? I think they meant like all of us. Like the entire group, and they seemed like to really not like Marley, but then they really yes, they liked like her <laughs> all of a sudden. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, um, it, it was. <laughs> Marley like, goes back into as, the pool. As she, as she, <laughs> as she, she just has a thousand yard stare, and she just sinks into the pool. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then Arden feels a tickle by his legs. <laughs> 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 I love I mean, how we take our rest in the fucking hot tub. Yeah, I mean, what, is, what else is in there? I, for? Love, I know <laughs> it, I, it, it makes sense, but it's just like we just had like this thing. Mama's here, her guards are here. It's, it's like, all right, hell. let's take five minutes though, and then we just sink into the bath. We were taking an hour, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, right, yeah, right, 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 yeah. right, 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 right. Theo's gonna take out her pigtails and just let the curls fly and just lay in the pool. Oh. Ah. Mm. <laughs> all right. This is so nice. Wow. I try wow. to back float. I sink. <laughs> I, I guess you are. Since I make I, you... I make a mutagen, I get out of the the pool and just like go get dressed and everything. <laughs> I guess okay, you well. hey, what effect does chlorine have on a mutagen? Do you think? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As Arden steps out, body lays head comes up like the freaking freaking moe of the pool. <laughs> 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 What is your wisdom, Marilay of the pool? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm not that much. <laughs> for the pool. I guess you were right, Marilay. Every time you complained about oh, them, oh. they are crazy. I'll be back. I just, I just need to work on a couple of things. Mm -hmm. Okay, don't hurt yourself. Please. I guess. Then. Uh, <laughs> walk away. <laughs> Sink into the hot tub. All you see is horns is any, and hair. Is anybody doing anything in particular <laughs> over this, or are they just doing the things you've described, and then we get to the end of the long rest? Yep. I just yeah. her horns like little, like little shark fin. <laughs> yeah. all right. It's just the little horns and her little um, tail, that's all you see. I would like to do something. What would you like um, to do? Okay. <gasps> I want to come, like, after I do my things and whatnot. I uh, want to wander over back to the pool. Okay. Um, hey, um, Phil. Ah. If you're not too busy, uh, can I talk to you? Uh, okay. Uh, privately. Okay. Oh, I see. Thumbs up, Thumbs up <laughs> over to Arden. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> Here we are in our own separate call. Finally, get Spencer it. gets his own. Yeah! <laughs> I didn't even mean to get a separate call, but whatever. No, it's, reve it's revenge. Don't worry about it. They all got separate calls. Yeah, it's fine. <clears throat> all right. But yeah, I want to lead Theo to, uh, like, out of your shot of everybody. Like, to a, to, like, a room or something. Mm hmm Mm-hmm. Uh, hey, um... You seem a bit, uh, upset. Why would I be upset? I guess, um, well, I guess you're worried about my health, right? Whatever gave you that idea, Arden? Not all the stabbing of your arm or anything, or... You know, putting yourself in mortal danger, but why would I ever worry? You know. Uh, I'm... I'll look down. Uh, I'm sorry, Theo. This was a, it was a bit of a desperate situation, and... I wasn't thinking straight, I guess. It got... That fight suddenly got a lot harder as soon as, you know, the, um, as soon as Emmanuel busted out all those, all the fire. Yeah. I... Look, go ahead. Uh, no, no, you can go. I 
get that you have to hurt yourself for your powers to work. I get that. I do. I just... I just asked you to be careful with yourself. And you immediately just weren't. And I just worry about you. And I know that you and Marina are like a thing, so you're probably going to listen to her more. And <laughs> We're not a thing. And like, um... Uh, Mar Marilea and I are not... We're not anything. Well, I'm just... I'm just saying, like, I, I get that you don't have to listen to me. I just... was worried about you and you... Just... Uh. Upset me. He'll take her hand. If she'll let him. Reluctantly. I'm... I'm sorry, I just... Like I said, things got desperate, but that's... Not a very good excuse. No. Oh. Hmm. Just don't... Just don't want to see you. I don't want you to die. And especially in all of this, I, I don't... Hmm. I don't want to die either. I still want to lose you, as in. I, I don't know if what what I'd do if I lost you either. So, I'll do my best to take care of myself. Please do better, because that's what you literally just told me, and then you go off and fucking stab yourself, <laughs> an idiot. I, I'm pretty dumb. I am more yes. book smart than I am. Uh, anything else smart. So, are we, um, are we good? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Just, no more stupid stuff. Please. <laughs> I'll poke sure. him in the chest. Stop <laughs> it. <laughs> ah! Well, if you keep poking me like that, I'll I'll go down in a second. Poke him again. Ah! <laughs> I fall over dramatically. Oh no! <laughs> I killed you! Ah! I'm oh, dead! No! <laughs> <laughs> Get up. <laughs> Give you a big hug. Yeah. Hug them really, really tight. Mm. Yeah, we're good. I'm glad. We're just dumb. <laughs> I'm very dumb. L oh. Learn to listen to me, please. <laughs> I will take this to heart. Better. <laughs> if you do that, I won't dance my way across the country. <laughs> good. Very good. Whew. You're more fun than Sebastian, anyway. So, so. <laughs> oh, you want to go? You go dancing across the country with me? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Do you know how to dance? Oh, not at all. I'm at, I'm probably very bad at it. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> just gonna. Just gonna. There we go. <laughs> not good. Not great. <laughs> <laughs> Above average. I guess yeah. I'll have to teach you. <laughs> Looking forward to it. Yeah. You know, if the succubi don't kill us tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's fine. I'll, I'll kick their ass. It's fine. <laughs> See how that goes. <laughs> you can That's... certainly try. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's, uh... Let's get back. Yeah. Before Marile tries to make it weird. Yeah, I don't know how to handle her at all. She keeps trying to handle you. <laughs> she sure does. <laughs> I'm. I. <laughs> do, do you like her? Uh, she's very pretty. Like, very. Very pretty. But, uh, no, I'm not interested. 
in her romantically or anything. Good, because I think she likes Nicolo. Yeah, they they get along a lot. Like they're kind of like a like an old married couple or something, you know? No, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that, yeah. Shall we? <laughs> now, like, hold out my arm to, like, I'll, like, loop my arm through his. <laughs> we shall. Let's go. Doop doop doop. And we doop, go back. Doop, 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 we All go right. Back. back we go. Hooray. <laughs> Hello, friends. Oh, welcome. welcome. Dave's back. Hello. All right. You have a higher constitution than that. What were you playing? <laughs> <laughs> they, they return. Um, and, uh, assuming that no one else has anything to do, which, correct me if you do, uh, you guys reach the end of your long rest, and for the sake of brevity, uh, return to your, uh, you return your weapons and your armor and get it back into your, your usual outfits. Mm-hmm. Whew. <sighs> shall we? I guess Let's we shall. Yes. Yeah. Be careful, we don't know... Exactly what they can do. Well, we know, know what they can. Things. We 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 know what they can do. We know several things that they can do. We just don't know how well they can do it without it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if I'm gonna be very good at resisting their uh, effects. So you'll be fine. Apologies if uh, anything happens. Don't worry. Good. I just I just learned a great method for getting rid of it. What, hitting me? Think, think about <laughs> it. Fucking cane slap a bitch. Think about it, think about it this way, Arvin. If I don't mm. work on you, they will not. You've been trying to do that to him too? What the hell? <laughs> no, I haven't. Yeah. <laughs> she was See, trying to be mis she was trying to be mysterious. <laughs> <laughs> she was trying to be quirky and mysterious, it's alright. <laughs> Powers on your friends, Marley. I didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet, you didn't. All right. I wasn't going. I wasn't going to. I respect consent. <laughs> That's fair. You know what happens to people who don't respect consent? They get their ass beat by a fucking adventuring party. Let's We're go. We're about to find out. <laughs> get their ass beat by Henry Crabgrass. How terrible would it be if just by pure luck then they wiped you out? And I'm like, well, I guess um, what happens I to people? I guess they win. I guess they win. Uh, we, hear, we hear that uh, 19 do not, do not endorse ignoring consent. We, we do not. You no. Know. Oh my gosh! They were in the campaign ends. <laughs> Yay! What a Emmanuel's what a good a note to start Pride Month on. <laughs> the <laughs> the <laughs> photos become uh. the photos become was were. Fucking <laughs> 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 Karen. All right. See so you guys with Mama uh, in tow. Uh, Radley and Hadwin try to follow after them as they do. She like puts her hand up to them as they try to go up the stairs with her. I know you have good intentions, darlings, but there is absolutely no need for you to come with me. I already have all of this muscle, and I would like to speak to the girls personally, so stay down here. And if Gilligan tries to intervene, do not let him. To which they look at each other and then nod back to her, and then they step over towards the downward stairs that lead to the first floor. I swear they get bigger every time I see them. Gilligan is... More protective of the demons who came here with him, so I'm sure he would want to hear them out fairly. And so I'd rather him not get involved. Yeah, that makes sense. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry, Gilligan. You get to, we're at about one. Uh, you guys head up to the roof. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, just for the sake of what we're doing. Oh, shit. Oh. oh. As Logan, why did you have a map made? We weren't gonna fight here. Yeah, who, who knows? Why would we? Were gonna, we were to be fair, I have maps here. for, and I'm not gonna show them all to you unless I need to, but I have maps made for all the parts of this building, just in case. Because oh. <laughs> who knows what you're gonna, the other, other room. was gonna fucking the, kill us in the, here? The <laughs> other room could have become a fight, I don't know. I don't like we could have fought them in the pool and drowned Maps. them until the bubbles stopped. Maps for a DM is like a fire extinguisher in the corner of the apartment. It's a good thing to have it and never need it, then need it and never have exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah. 
Not that I condone over-preparing, but when I knew that a large chunk of time was going to be in this building, I was like, mm, the two crazy uh, bitches up go. in here. Um, Someone's probably going to die in this building. Let's as yeah. you guys <laughs> come out and you enter, I'm going to throw you guys kaboom. Uh, the door to it is, like I said, a large open door that's right there. Where are you? Boom. Uh, as you guys can apparently... I decided to fly. Yeah, I was going to say, Nicola's flying. Uh, so let's bring you down. <laughs> as you guys step out onto the top, uh, Mama moves ahead of you. I so regret not getting art done for Mama now. I am... I am like, what? I am useless. She can just be M. She, we, we just put an M, and then we'll be like, it's Judy Dench. Mama will be ahead <laughs> of you guys. It's Judy Dench. I will, as I will repeat, Mama will be ahead of you guys. You can, like, move ahead of her if you want, but I will note that if you keep trying to move ahead, she will. I will place her farther ahead of you, because <laughs> she's fine. taking care of business. As she comes out, you guys see that, again, it's bright in the way that, you know, there's, like, bright snow blindness going on outside. The sun overhead uh, is shining through the storm enough that um, you can see properly, but it's shifting. It's, there's quite a strong wind when you come out, enough that, like, Gino, your cape is fluttering pretty dramatically uh, in, the, in the wind. Your snow is building up on you in particular a little bit as you step out. Again, would they be more like that? As you guys come out, you see the two of them, uh, these two identical women uh, standing... Uh, looking out over the city, seemingly unbothered by the cold. As you step out, Mama takes her cane and moves forward. Stops moving just a little bit ahead of all of you. I assume you girls know exactly what it is that you have done. And I do not need to explain why you are in deep, deep trouble. The two of them turn back towards you. You couldn't just do as you were told, Marie Lee. You always have to make everything so hard. That's part of the job. <laughs> <laughs> Cute. Ow. It's too bad you're not too good at it. We practically keep the doors open here. And that's why it's only fitting this place offer itself up. If Lilith's gonna come back for us... And if we have to face her again, and she recognizes us as having deserted her a long time ago, we're going to be in a lot more trouble than with you. You guys hear a cocking sound as you realize that Mama Marigold has brought a shotgun to the roof. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Previously oh, hidden no. among the folds of their outfit, you see them just take it out. You see them uh, take it and arm it. <laughs> It's like a way bigger gun than like, <laughs> then oh, she, no, she, then you like a ruby cane or something like the cane turns Mama into a fucking heat. <laughs> I do not condone my girls being hurt. They are my babies. And I do not condone my babies hurting each other. However, if this is the attitude the two of you are going to take, consider yourself fired. I wish you luck in future employment opportunities, if you live to see them. You see the two of them turn fully towards a lot of you guys. Very suddenly, you hear the back of their shirts rip open a little bit as a set of wings, of large leathery wings, expands out from the back of each of them. Then we'll just subdue you all before Lilith gets here. And offer you his tributes. They look to each other. I, oh, you guys, so go okay, go ahead. I wanted to, as 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 Gino sees their wings pop out, he wanted to try to make his echo appear behind the furthest one. You can absolutely do that. Let's heck and grab that echo, boys, because I everything from Sounds here. I'm like gonna, yeah, slightly more uh, description just to give you guys a heads up on what's around you. But we're doing initiative, so please roll it, my guys. What? There's a fight? Who could have seen this coming? Arden! <laughs> the wind's really strong! What are they saying? Ah! Hey, <laughs> nice job, Gino. Hey. Oh, oh we're fighting! That oh, made... alright! <laughs> As this happens, you uh, become aware of, in the snowstorm, various figures rising up, some from beneath the snow, some having been standing around you. Um, 
previously hidden by the snowstorm. As they do, you see the two succubi look at each other. You see their skin as the... Just before. This is all just before your echo appears behind them. Um, but you see their skin uh, go from being uh, a human shade. It turns into this lightly grayish tone with like lines of purple and violet under their eyes and uh, their nails extend out somewhat as they do. You see very faint horns appear on their head that, not as dramatic as Fio's, but they seem to appear out of their skull and whip backwards, almost as if they were like the crest on a helmet when they do. Uh, as you guys become aware of various tundra hellites bursting out of the snow... Oh, motherfucker! I guess that Ooh. confirms that Lilith really did want to see us. She must know we're here. If she sent us help. At this point, they turn as they see a shadow appear behind them in the storm as Gino's echo appears. And with that, Gino, fittingly. Yay. You got the first turn, my dude! Let's do this! As I'm Gino's thing appears like bitch. As Gino's thing appears like, oh, they left us one of these things. It's what <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize I didn't hold initiative, did I? Go, no, uh, go ahead and <laughs> you should, you should <laughs> do that. Hey, shall we? Oh, heckin'. You're next? Probably. Yeah. Heck yeah. Aw, oh, yeah. Alright. Fucking, I'm gonna, I'm gonna style on this bitch. Oh, yeah? Hell yeah. Fucking. Let's a go. Hey, oh, well. That misses. You not, you know. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I'm, okay. I'm gonna style on this whoopsie. I'm gonna super style. Remember, you I'm gonna unleash incarnation here. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna try again. Hey, ah! Oh, jeez. Oh, I just realized there's an extension I gotta turn off to make those work properly. Uh, there should have been what? Two more points on that? There should have been another uh, D4 added to it. Okay. Um, roll one more D4. Hey, ah. Okay. Ooh. And you are attacking Jasper, correct? That hits. Okay, cool. Get her. Uh, yeah. As you hit Ooh. them, you notice the damage is resisted down when it strikes them. They seem to glance it off of them, but you, being a demon, that doesn't surprise you that their skin is thicker than it appears to be. Um, I need a magic sword so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Same. All right. Oh. And, um... Fuck it, why not? Up. We're at the beginning of a fight, why not? Action surge. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try! As much as I can, I want! Okay, does a 14 hit? It does not. Uh, well, okay. <laughs> well, okay, then. Does a 20 hit? Yes! A 20 okay. hit! <laughs> Nice! Hey, I got a stop line. Nice. Nice. <laughs> They're very lift, man. You find it hard to hit them, but you got them. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alrighty, and that is a Gino's turn. Alright, give me one moment. Real quick, because I minimized something. Click. All right, you, that's Gino's turn as you do that, so you appear, uh, you use your incarnation to attack them, catching them off guard as you make a sudden movement towards them with your own body, causing them to think that you're going to attack as that appears, cutting through the snow with each strike of your greatsword, the snow follows it as if, like, the direction of the wind changes as you strike. Uh, they manage to dodge away from some of them, but you do land a couple of really good hits on them. Nice. That said, Hell yeah. Jasper's up next. Oh, ah, so that happens, they stop, they slide back after you're having attacked them, they look towards it. That's quite powerful. I think I'd rather like to have that. And they look over towards you, uh, oh. Gino. Oh no. Sweetie, could you go ahead and turn this around on them? And when they do so, that is gonna be their action. Uh, you're gonna need to make, <laughs> have you make a wisdom save. I showed off my good shit, now they want- I wanted to add a style oh, point no! to it, but it now you it matters! Well, burn the style point, it wouldn't have- it wouldn't have pushed it over. It wouldn't have helped. <laughs> so, as this happens, uh, you find your mind gets clouded as uh, they kind of turn towards you. Uh, Jasper runs, like, two of their fingers down their chest as they say this, and 
it's an odd feeling for you, but you find yourself getting caught, like, back by it, and being told to fight your allies as they do, they're like, turn this on them. Kill them with this thing. You... It strikes you as the thing to do. This effect, unfortunately, doesn't have any caveats about fighting your opponents. Just harm and suicidal commands. Yep. Mm. <laughs> okay. This is fine. It's true. As this happens, Marile, you see Gino kind of, his movement stiffens for a second and then gets very slow as you become aware that he's definitely been affected. Uh, what? she's, oh, yes, just sorry, just before your turn, she's also going to fly up 40 feet. Uh, why? Uh, this is the part uh. in the video game where the enemy's lights turn red. <laughs> 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 oh, Marile, it's your turn. Uh, so I know before I couldn't out succubus the succubus, but can I out succubus the succubus on Gina? <laughs> <sighs> if you charm Gino, you can't undo their charm with it, uh, and your charm doesn't let you seize control of their mind. It just makes it so they can't attack you. Um, but, if you wanted to try to do something with it, then you could. You mm. hurt me. Yeah, if you hurt him, you'd have to roll it again. Why did you take it? <laughs> I, I can don't take want. it. You okay. could hit her. I will also note, Mati Lake, given that you are familiar with their abilities, you know that once somebody has been under the effect and then it ends, they're immune to it for a day. Oh, okay. Well, it's gotta knock him out of it then. Well, you uh, could try to hit her and see if you can knock him out, knock him out of it through that. It's not a spell. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah. Um, I just okay. assumed because it was a magical effect. That's my bad. Magical effect, not yeah. a spell. Okay. I was just looking at my, my weapons here, and the back of my hand isn't one. So. <laughs> 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 and I don't know if smacking Gino, of all people, is the best idea. Unless I want to break a nail. Um, <laughs> uh. I want to knock him out of it. Is this finding out with what? <laughs> um. End of me. Uh, actually, I with my light revolver, can I just pistol whip him? Uh, if you want to, uh, we basically be talking about making an unarmed attack. Um, heckin, that would do your if it hits. Okay, so the way we'll do this: roll a dagger attack against him, and then if it uh, hits, you'll only deal your uh, you'll deal your. You'll deal one damage, because it's your strength, um, minimum one, so it'd be one yeah. damage. So. Just to make sure I'm remembering, I dragged the plus five yes. towards Gino? Yeah. Alrighty. I star you, boy. Do it. Oh. Fuck. You try to do it, Gino turns around and smacks your hand away as you try to strike him with the gun. I would welcome this aggression if it wasn't under these circumstances. <laughs> <laughs> she said that. <laughs> Do you want to use your bonus action for anything? Uh, uh, mm. There's Trevor. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Uh, I can't do that anyway. Um, uh, man, who can hit him harder? Uh, I'm going to give a Bardic Inspiration over, uh, eh, I'm going to give a Bardic Inspiration over to Emmanuel. Eh. And then I think if I'm remembering my, my, my thingy correctly, I drag it to Emmanuel. Yep. And now Emmanuel has it. Yep. And I think, and I think that's me. Yep. Emmanuel, you can, uh. Heck yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, Marile, because of your effect, if you want to move um, 15 feet as well. What is it? Uh, inspired movement. You haven't taken your movement yet, so you could move 45 feet still if you wanted to. Oh, wow. 45 feet. Uh... And he couldn't opportunity attack you. Oh. Uh, do I want to try taking on some of these fuckwads before they become a problem? Maybe. At a Unfortunately, distance. can't this turn. Uh, that's fine. At a distance, we'll, 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 we'll we will move over here. Alrighty. As you do this, you strike Gino. You kind of reach back and try to grab her hand. As you you do, she 
slips it away and out from your grip, and she uh, does a series of backflips back and slides uh, near that Tundra Hellite, who, as you get close to it, it just gets up, creates the blade of ice in his hand, and you just hear a <laughs> from it as you get close. Is there anything else you'd like to do? That is your action bonus action of movement, so I guess there's not much else. I think that's all I can do. All right. Fittingly, right. it goes. Tundra Hellite oh, 4. As you rush four. towards it, it is going to leap towards you. Uh, off of the uh, again the instrument that's on the roof there, it creates the remainder of the blade in its hand, takes it with two hands, and strikes down at you. And it hits. Mm. Walking into my death. As it strikes you, it deals seven damage, three slashing, Ow. three cold. Ow. All right. As it hits you, you see the normally blue interior inside of it. Uh, again, normally these things give off a slightly bluish glow. Uh, you see it changing to like a violet color inside. There's something familiar about it, like your demonic blood is almost reacting to it as if it considers this demonic energy to be familiar. Mm. Nicola. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> what a conundrum these succubi have presented well, you with. Well, it's like, there, there wasn't a conundrum until until my friend is, is getting the shit beat out of real her quick, by a weird monster. Real quick, <laughs> you decide what you're going to do. Uh, I am going to step away for just like half a second here. I apologize. Yeah. I'll be right back. Oh, is that what you think? He's already Arden, there's no way you can hit these things if they fly, right? Huh? There's no way you can hit these things if they fly, right? Not much of a chance. I mean, the Tundra uh, Hellites can't pull out fly. a gun, but that's not gonna be—it's not gonna go well. Because <laughs> I have magic bullets, so I can potentially get through their magic resistance. But there's a there's there's a there's a Marile over there that I don't want to leave by herself. <laughs> it's fine. She'll be fine. <laughs> She's not gonna be fine. Not gonna uh, be fine. Uh, Be don't don't leave me alone with the charge. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I beg of you. Look for them. We'll be fine. We'll take them together, Gino. <laughs> well, like, cause also I, I uh, <laughs> had to grab water. Got water. All right, what are you doing? Uh, <laughs> we are who we choose to be. Now choose. <laughs> Spider-Man! <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm one of the only people that can get through their freaking magic resistance because I have I have bullets that are good. <laughs> yeah. But but Mari Lay. <laughs> mm. Listen, what has she ever done for you? <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah. All right, so. Here's the plan. Okay, I got it. I got. I got what I'm gonna do. Mm -hmm. it's gonna super suck, and people are gonna yell at me. Um, <laughs> Who cares? Fucking live I'm gonna your use, truth. I'm gonna use Zephyr Strike. Okay. Uh, my my bonus action to allow me mm -hmm. to move without provoking opportunity attacks because I don't want Gino to murder me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> da, da, da. Hi. Yeah. One person will up. Um, and uh, I would like to move here for now uh because i need to need to do more move actually no i have like extra movement with the other yeah it's fine whatever i'll move there for now um <laughs> i'm gonna look to marley i'm gonna see that there is a that there are other people that can potentially help but at the same time eh, i'm gonna fire at fucking jasper because she just did something to gino and maybe if i kill her then it'll be fine gotcha. um, go for it uh, i'm gonna use a magic bullet um so hi da. Um and uh, I'm gonna gonna go for gonna go for a fire matter. This should be a plus eight, I believe, if everything works well enough. Yeah. yeah, I uh I have an extension put in just so you guys know that if you put two identical effects on to a character it uh removes. Oh I should uh, have one had a advantage because it's Zephyr Strike. Uh uh roll it again. Um, but just so you know, so if you do style points and you want to use multiple, just remember to we'll have to do the D4s independently. I will remove that extension by next time we play. That hits! Oh. 
All right, let me let me put on the extra damage from Zephyr Strike. Uh, and I'm guessing that even though this is this is not a this is a thing, it's magic. It's uh, and this thing says innate spells. It's not a spell you said, so I don't I don't use magic piercing. Uh, correct. Because it is not concentrating on a spell. It is not benefiting from a spell. If it's if someone's using magic on somebody else and they're not concentrating, then your effect doesn't interact with them. Yeah, I was just I was just making sure. Yeah. Let's go for. Habip. Okay, you fire it, it takes six damage. Uh, that didn't add the plus one for the magic. Did it not? What are you? I was uh, using a magic bullet, a plus one bullet. Let me look at your thing, Niccolo. Actions. Uh, do you have a plus six in dex? Did you add? You have added the effect. Bullet plus one, attack plus one, damage one ranged. Okay. Uh, no, it's... Oh, well, never mind. It's, it's, no, it's, not counting, it, it's not counting it off. It's counting off from my regular bullets. That's my bad. Yeah. Ba, 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 and then I'll count off from the magic bullets. There we go. Yeah. I have to do it manually. Yep. <laughs> um, uh, upon noticing that that isn't doing anything, though... <laughs> cause, is the thing you know, registering you know, as it, magic? And, uh, it changes probably... the damage type to magic, yeah. Yeah. Oh. One sec, um, hold on. Because normally it says, like, magic in the, the thing when you roll damage. So I'm going to check the effect. That. DMG type. <laughs> yeah, it should be adding it. Weird. Um, oh, I see why it's not. Oh, that's dumb. There's a period there. That's hacking where it shouldn't be. And it's throwing <laughs> the whole thing off. Uh, so that should have done full damage, so you should have done ten. Yay. Hooray. Two, um, three, oh, 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 four. Okay. My bad. That's perfectly fine. Upon seeing that there is no real change there, he's going to curse, and then he's going to look over to Emmanuel, he's going to look over to Marile, and uh, probably should move in front of Gino. <laughs> uh, so I'm just going to go around Emmanuel and, and get to Gino, because the Zephyr Strike gives me more movement. And I'm just like, hey, Gino, what's up, man? You want to murder me? <laughs> <laughs> That's me. <laughs> All right, that's you. Yep. Mama's turn. Mama yeah, looks mama. over towards uh, looks over towards Violet. Mama. There is no world, my dear, where you are the one who keeps the doors open here, so you can see yourself out. She aims the shotgun. She fires it. She hits. Oh. She does. Uh, it's going to be reduced by half, but as she fires it, there's a... Violet, like, raises up a hand and opens her mouth as if she's about to talk back. But as she does, the sound of the shotgun oh. deals seven damage to her. As she does, you see, um, Mama is going to take two steps back. Is going to step... But, nah, nah, that's not her style. She's going to stay exactly where she is. She just, again, takes the shotgun in one hand, does, like, the one-arm reload of it by shifting it up and down, then <laughs> aims it back at them again. Violet's going to go. Violet is also... <sighs> this could get mean. Violet is going to... <sighs> look over to Emmanuel. Oh no! Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I bet you all wouldn't be so quick to hurt your little boy pet, would you? Young Emmanuel! You young child! <laughs> Show them what a big, strong man you are. And I'm going to roll this against you, Aaron. Anything adding to it? Uh, I don't have anything to add to it. Whoop! But he refused! That's <laughs> <laughs> just like she's being all sexy. Like, Come on, you're just like, no! <laughs> yeah, presses like one of... Yeah, it's like splays her fingers, presses one of her fingers like up to her lips, is trying to look very sultry towards you, to which Emmanuel's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> All right, and that's uh, she's gonna go ten feet. Uh, she's gonna go fifteen feet in the air and move over a little bit away from you guys, and that's gonna be her. Tundra Hellite One is gonna go. Tundra Hellite One, where are you? There you are. Uh, it is going to one, two, three, four, five. Sorry, but this Marile, it's going to rush Marile. And if it hits, it's going to do extra damage. It rushes at you, strikes towards you with the crystal blade, misses! 
Brings the blade up. It goes wide. Doesn't manage to hit you. As you dexterously move in and out of them. Theo, your turn. Okay, sorry. Apparently I was struggling to hit the unmute button like a fucking idiot. Cool. Hmm. So As you do. As you do, you know, as you know, just as I do. Uh, all right, let's see what the fuck it is. It's just burning hands all Marile, Tundra Hello for and I'm kidding, I'm fucking kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a joke, it's a joke. For now. Uh, but for now. Uh, but what we will Last. do unless I'm gonna <laughs> get like <laughs> And uh hi you're kind of a bitch, and I'm gonna wind chain this hoe because she's out of my range, but she's gonna make her in my range. <laughs> but what I if said... I made her in my range? But what if I made her in my range? <laughs> Hop ya. Burn the fucking focus point. And. Pyaw! Pyaw! That's a hit! Woo! Woo! In point of interest, that's the one that got you earlier. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm aware. You strike it, dealing five damage. Oh, so you're resisting me? Well, I guess I'm just gonna have to hit you more, aren't I? As you swing the blade, because of the thick snow around you, you see, like, the path that the extended slash takes in the snow, as this, like, blade of, uh, empty space appears in the snowstorm and strikes them in the back. You're kind of a bitch, we're gonna drag and surge! Alright. And I'm pretty do I'm pretty sure I get a fucking uh, stat point for fucking using two of my abilities in one round. Yeah. Boop a doop, I'm going up. Uh, uh, two. You get two style points when you use three or more focus points across two or more focus techniques. So yes, you gain two okay. style points. Woohoo! Yeah. Oh! suck my dick! <laughs> <laughs> All right, go roll it. Okay. You gain two more style points, by the way. You do maximum damage, reduced to 11, unfortunately, but as you cut them with the first one, you then take the blade and pierce forward, and you just see a large tear form up the side of their shoulder. Uh, this gruesome-looking scar forms on their body. I hope that stays. And that's me. <laughs> Alrighty. Make sure you mark off those two style points you gain. Uh, Tundra Hellite 3 is going to go, and Tundra Hellite 3 is going to go be 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 and is going to attack Niccolo. Come at me! Going to hurl an ice arrow your way, throws it. Almost nat ones, then it slides, it hits. Go for it. Fires towards you, hits you. <sighs> Zephyr Spike uh, strike expires as you fail your concentration no! uh, your concentration check. Uh, it deals a total of three damage to you, doing minimum damage. Nice. And that's what I lose my fucking concentration on! Anyway, go. <laughs> <laughs> Emmanuel. I'm a what's freaking born god! Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you seem upset. <laughs> mm, I'll be right back, buddy. Uh, I'm gonna go right here. Gino. I mean, yeah. technically, they told him to use the Echo to kill us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Okay. I'm gonna get fired. <laughs> That's a hit. Roll it. Yeah, I... You take 12 ah. damage, Emmanuel, as Gino almost, like... Confused strikes towards you and hits you as you go by. All right, slash long legs to run there. Uh, I'm gonna aim at Violet, and I'm gonna heck in Chaos Bolt. <laughs> Here we go. Luckily, no one eats oh. any damage types this time, as far as you know. Good. Go for it. <laughs> All right, start with it to hit. Yeah. That misses. Oh. I'm afraid. Alrighty. I. 
Do not. <laughs> you know oh, that. no. That's you. That's me. You conjure up a bolt of energy. You fire oh, it towards mm. them, but the shock of being the shock of being hit by Gino unfortunately causes you to misfire. It goes wide and fires off past Violet. Alrighty, that'll be yeah, that'll be Manny. All right, Tundra Hellite two. This one's gonna go over. It's going to jump down off the roof onto Arden. Arden, you can attack it as it comes into your range if you want to. I'm gonna fucking beat it up. Do it. Beat it up. All right. I gotta fucking. <laughs> there we go. Fucking. Oh. Ah, that just, that misses. I'm afraid. Yeah. As you come down at it, you strike it. It puts its arm out and uses your uh, your glaive to sort of push itself to the side and lands beside you instead of being hit. It then brings the crystal blade up, strikes at you, and mm -hmm. it also misses. Hooray! Back away from it as it tries to hit. Then this boy's going to go, and this boy's going to fire an arrow at you, Arden. Creates a bow made of ice, fires it towards you. And that also misses. Hooray! You bring back that down oh, the glaive again, you strike the arrow of ice as it comes near you. And then Arden, it's your turn. Oh, alright. Not nothing, Arden. Please protect us. <laughs> should I beat up Gino or should I beat up this, these monsters? You do you, man. All <laughs> I right. believe in you. Alright. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try and take out this fucking thing here. Alrighty. Alright. So. Hey, oh! Fuck! Oh. Oh. Second bonus action attack! That misses. Oh! oh. 16 misses! Yep. Fuck! Oh, that sucks. These guys are a. This is a comedy of errors over here. Everyone missing. Oh, yeah. But nothing happened well, in zone. That's me. Oof. Alrighty. Back up to the top. Eh. Gino, your turn. Uh. Hey, Gino. <laughs> hey, buddy. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> technically two people in front of me. Mm -hmm. Oh. I'm gonna roll a d4. Oh, goodness. One or two. Okay. I'm going after Mama. Oh no! <laughs> she shot a shotgun at the one I'm supposed to protect, so you know what? She needs to die. Uh, she <laughs> technically shot a shotgun at the other one. Did she? <laughs> yeah. She shot at uh, Violet, yeah. Violet, yeah. Okay, well I mean, that was I... kind of the only reason I even considered doing that. Is because she I thought she shot the one that I was supposed to protect. So you're so... not gonna kill Mala? Oh no, I'm gonna go for you. Yay! <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> okay. Now, here's the question though is Echo Gino on our side? I'm kidding. <laughs> that hits! <laughs> Let's go! You take 11 damage. <laughs> that, was a, says... that, was, that just hit my AC too. <laughs> oh man. And, uh. Oh man. He uh go for it, nerd. Beat me up. He, he has more. You gonna me, you're me moving up. your echo up towards him? Me, me. Oh that's up. right. I can do that. So yeah, I'll do I guess so. As you that's attack him from one side, the echo comes and rushes you from the other side as both come in at once. Oh! That one's blocked. Okay. <laughs> as they come in, you manage to block one. Uh, you block the echo as you see Gino coming to hit you, so you effectively they make the attack at the same time. You just have to choose which one you don't want to get hit yeah, by. Yeah, it was unfortunate. <laughs> one of them was gonna hit me. Is that you, Gino? Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, that's him. It's, it's, it's not, he says nothing. So does he get makes two no opportunity noise. attacks if I move away. <laughs> no, yeah, only he only gets one. Okay. <laughs> Okay. And I already used mine. Oh, actually, no, I just had my turn, so. Yeah. So Jasper is going to come in and fly just down beside you, and I'm so sorry. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> he comes down and behind. Uh, she comes down beside you and wraps her arms around you from behind and just presses uh, her. Hmm? She entered my range. <gasps> yeah, go ahead. 
All right. I mean, you're, I don't, you're not gonna kill her, <laughs> but, like, but hurt her. For the purposes of what I'll we're doing, her. we'll put her there. Protect I'm gonna try and hit her. <laughs> Please hit her. Protect I'm me. Best. I'm gonna put a, a point of uh, style point into this. Do it. A point of style. A point of style. Oh. Uh, oh. The first one, which was against, what, against Jasper. Uh, you were yeah. still targeting the tundra. It hit. Yeah. Ah. The one that you rolled against them hit. So D target the tundra boy. And go ahead and roll uh, damage against Jasper. All right. Fucking die! Nice. Good enough. You deal five damage as you strike them, but as you do, they yeah. fall down and drape their arms around you from behind, Gino. You know? um, they kind of nuzzle up against you, and they briefly, uh, you feel them kissing the back of your very large metallic neck. They're going to use Draining Kiss on you. You need to make a con save that I'm about to roll against you. Okay, I have nothing to put into it, so fucking go nuts. Okay. <sighs> Alright, this is gonna hurt, my dude. You feel as they kiss you, energy being sucked out of you. As you take 22 damage. Fuck! Oh, holy crap! <sighs> and your hit point maximum is reduced by that amount. Oh! For whoa. like ever? Until it resolves. Okay. Who's to say? I can't. I can't tell you immediately how long. Because that's like, well, I might as well just toss Dean Gino to the fucking dogs. Then <laughs> is what that is. We'll see. We'll see. You see, Gino, and now I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. This one is not going to be with advantage. The advantage before was because of the being struck by a friend thing, which was something I was kind of handing to you guys. This one, just straight wisdom save. Uh, wisdom save. Hey, uh... No, you're yeah. still under the effect. I'm sure she had a reason. <laughs> <laughs> Muddy leg! I'm sure she had a reason for draining my soul through my through my metal. Listen, okay. she's playing 4D chess over here, man. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty then. Let's let us let us look. I have I have Alrighty two then. I have two, two two bumbly boobies and Fio's there and then I'm looking and then this one is there. <laughs> Then we can. Deep. It's true. Uh, uh, what do I do? I what is what does Earth Tremor do again? It tremors uh, to the Earth. Hurts everything yeah. around you. You could also yeah. go for a thunder wave. Those two. <laughs> uh, thunder wave is also a thing. Uh, I'm thinking, because Earth Tremor, I could deal with these two boobies over here, but it doesn't hurt that booby over there. But Thunder Wave might hurt that booby over there, because I can aim Thunder Wave, right? If you use Thunder Wave, you can get Tundra Hellite 1. Uh, okay, so let's see. Thunder Wave. Thunder Wave's range is a 15-foot uh, cube. Yes, because she's just at the height of that. She would just be in the top uh, the top corner <laughs> of the cube. <laughs> yeah, no, because you could do a uh, 15-foot cube would be that. I can do, yeah. Oh, can that's do, true. That, that, that's the cube I was thinking of. That's yeah. true. I was thinking that was the cube I was thinking of, because I was like, I can aim one of these. And this bitch in the sky, but she's not that high. Yep, she she's would stupid. be exactly in the corner of it. You could hit her. Yeah. So we're gonna do we're gonna do that nice thunder wave. Do you want to do it at first or second level? Uh, let yeah, let's let's make it really owie. Okay. Um, I think it, that's the three d eight thunder spell. Yes, but you gotta roll the con save first against them. Oh. Uh. 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 So man. target both of them. Oh. Target. How do I do that again? Uh, contr hold control and click on him. Yeah. That. And also, you also the Tundra Boy. Yeah. There you go. Now hit that save. Con save. I hit con save? Yep. Oh? Oh, no, sorry. No, not not you. Like, uh, you see above where, the above the two damage things, there's a save con DC 15H thing. Oh! Yeah. Okay, hold on. I gotta go look for it again. Uh, oh no, where was my... Oh, over here. Uh, oh, the save! Alright, here. Okay. Did I do it? Uh, I didn't. I didn't do it. Okay, uh, hold on. Click the button beside it. Like, the little dice button beside the save. Oh, I have to click it! They had to drag it. Alright, so when you use it, uh, you would note that Violet seems to be somewhat resistant to magic. She had advantage on it. Um, however, uh, let's see. Do, 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 but now. Uh, the Tundra Hellite failed. Violet six. Oh, sorry, no! I got that the other way around. Violet does not have resistance. Um, 
The Hellites do, but the Hellites still failed. Go ahead and roll the 3d8 thunder damage. You can just click it. You can just click the button for it. That's your best hit. Um, when it, you deal 15 damage to the Hellite and 7 to Violet, now make sure you tick off a second level spell slot. But yeah, you you hit them both. You put your hand out, a wave of uh, a wave of sound erupts from it, and then also because you did that, the um, where are you? Does that spell upscale when you cast it? Yeah, at higher level. Ah, uh, that that's why it was 3d8. And if you hit him, the Hellite gets pushed back and thrown uh, backwards because it failed to save, lands 10 feet away from you. Yeah. Nice. Uh. Nice. Hmm. Now I'm thinking, because I can still do a bonus. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Now I must ask, because. Well, no, that's under combat, so I don't think I can do either Devil's Kiss or Enthrall. They're both. Or uh, Charm. So, Devil's Kiss is an action that you do as an unarmed attack against a creature within five feet. Um, enthrall, the enthrall effect is like, uh, it's a note that when you are close enough to make physical contact with the creature you're trying to charm, just that you have advantage on it. Mm-hmm. So, just to make sure, I can't do any charming of any sort for bonus action. No, no unfortunately. I think the two no, things okay. you have is you can give Bardic Inspiration and you can do the uh, Healing Word. Those, I think those are your two bonus actions. Yes. Um... Manuel got right? smacked. Yeah, I was gonna say I was like my my, my baby. <laughs> um, uh, he's at moderate health, so we'll do a we'll do a level one healing word to oh. Manuel. All right, go ahead and throw that on him. I think this is the one. Yes. He recovers six hit points. Thank you. Yeah. Yay. You should have took off a first level spell slot. And is that you? Yes, that is me. All right, Hellite Four is gonna go, and Hellite Four is gonna stay on you. They continue to try to attack. Uh, they go for their crystal blade. They get a crit. Ow. They try to hit you. They bring it up, and as you're distracted using the thunder wave, they take the opportunity to strike you, dealing 25 damage. Oh my fuck! Oh my fuck! Oh indeed. My God. I'm gonna die. Oh! As you do, <laughs> as this happens, as the snow clears from the thunder wave, and there's just a blade piercing through you in such a way that a normal human would probably have been killed straight by that, it pulls the blade out of you as you let out a pained gasp, and you hear uh, Violet laughing hysterically up above you. Ooh, can the blade have come out between my boobies? Totally. <laughs> it's actually exactly what I was imagining. Nicola! Blame Mama for, t for saying we can't bring the, the, the help with us. I'm kidding. <laughs> Not playing. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Upon seeing everything going down, he is very much like... <sighs> Damn it, Gino! He's gonna drop the fucking gun. He's gonna go for some attacks on Gino. Go for it. Please! <laughs> I'm begging you! All of you! <laughs> I am once again asking you to hit me! Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Come on, stop trying to hit me and hit me! <laughs> Oh, for... Yeah, there we go. Uh, Hi-ya. That's a hit. Roll damage, and then Gino, yep. roll, uh, roll a wisdom save. Gino, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, Don't I did damage. You did... Hold on. Gino. Hmm. Why did you resist all... Oh, your shield! <laughs> What? what? Whenever you use that, Talimonia appears in front of you and it takes all of the damage. Oh my god. Oh, that's <laughs> right. So we can't that's... save Gino. <laughs> um, you can, just don't fucking roll ones. Yeah. It has to be when he- I did when eight! He, <laughs> it has to be when he's harmed. Second Woo! attack. <laughs> Let's put some style in it. Do it. <laughs> Remember, uh, if you do it twice, it, I believe... Roll a d4 in it, yeah. yeah. Roll a d4, yeah. put it in your modifier window. Let's, let's go. There's one number you can roll that won't work. <laughs> Just roll any of the other ones and you'll be fine. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's go! Oh my god! <laughs> well, I'm done! I'm done! I guess I'm, I'm, done. I'm, I I guess I'm murdering Niccolo. I gotta go! <laughs> Oh, or I'm getting God. murdered permanently, oof, I guess. Woofy woofy. Uh, 
he's I mean he sounds like he's pretty willing under this under this spell, right? <laughs> uh Woody. In what way? I mean he seems pretty willing to be seduced is all I'm saying. That magic I, piercing rounds might have done some extra damage earlier. I, I love how I love how it was like I Actually he is under the influence of a magical effect. Um, roll me 1d8. Okay, so Gino, uh, since you oh. since it would... Um, let's see, the way it works. Where, where's your thing? I believe it doesn't reduce it down. So if you take it yep. all, you take it all. Uh, so yep. eight, 8, you take 16 damage. <laughs> Being Fuck very yeah. nice. You have very, very nice one hit happened. point. <laughs> this better be it. This better be the one where I'm I'll be it. nice and let you roll it again. Go ahead. Do I roll it with advantage because it's Nicola? No. Oh, I see. I was okay. just being very, very nice earlier. I was being a, a good, nice boy. You're still down. You're not. It's not. It's, it's fine. It's I'll, just, I'll just fucking kill Gina. The DC's 15. <laughs> he's, he's I'm betrayed sorry. Us. Gino's He's betrayed us. I'll kill him. The second <laughs> attack missed, though. Yeah, that's me. I don't got anything. Okay. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Yo, Jasper, did I... Where is it? Yeah. So, uh, Mama's going to turn and fire the shotgun at Jasper. Fires it. Hits! Despite having disadvantage and a plus four to hit, manages to hit. She's going to turn and almost as if she's like looking to swat a fly, turns it towards you and fires it. Dealing 17 reduced down to 8 damage as they hit it. Um, they're also going to, uh, with the way the shotgun works in this particular uh, thing, you... She can also shoot up to two other creatures that are adjacent to it. Gino, she's shooting you. Cool, do it. Fuck me up. She's going to fire. Right, I'm back. She hits. Yes. End me. Yeah. Gonna end my life. I mean, if she gets over eight. <laughs> it hits. Uh, you are hit. You are down. She fires at you as it hits you and you hit the ground. She's like, I'm very sorry, but you are more useful on the ground than you are in their control. And, and that's my Does echo gone. That's save. your echo gone. Uh, go ahead and uh, hold on. I'm gonna check if it disappears if you fall unconscious. Doop doop doo boo. Uh, Remember, I don't think I think it's like a, just a day. Infect in. Sorry. Um. Uh, Man, not only did I have ribs, but I have jalapeno mozzarella. That sounds amazing. Oh my There's god. So, so good. yeah, Gino, I need you to roll a wisdom save. You are still under the effect. Heck. Okay. You are still oh, under the effect. Uh, just leave me out of it. Just, just I'm, I'm done for today. <laughs> Violet's turn. Violet is going to... Who's left? Bitch. Violet is going to attempt to charm Niccolo. Uh -oh. Let's go! Oh, I'm right here! You can't be charmed. She can't charm you. Oh, that's fair. Uh-oh. Yep. Uh -oh. <laughs> Thanks. You here. Niccolo, could you make yourself useful for once? And could you deal with Marile? No. But I guess I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> if I could have, don't you think I would have done that by now? Fucking. <laughs> oh, yes. Deal with Marile. That's what I always have to do. Well. Uh, see how well that's going to work. <laughs> <laughs> and forgot to throw that on you. Bam. Tundra Hellite 1 is going to go. Tundra Hellite 1 is going to attack you, Fio. Lunges forward. Goes for an attack. And it misses. Blocked by your shield. Your turn, Fio. Oh, fuck you. Alright, you're in my face. I was going to do something else, but you're all up in my face, so... It's... Yeah! Yeah. <sighs> fuck you! Unless you want to use oh. overwhelming advance, that's a miss. Um, Continuing the trend of not being able to hit things. You can't I dragon see. search yep. again. I could, but then I'd use all my fucking focus. This is not the game we're playing. Well, you today. can't. No. You can't dragon search again. Um, no, I can't. Because it costs three uh, now. Yep, sure would. 
Suck my dick, that's me. Okay, woo. <laughs> woo! <laughs> Tundra Hellite 3! Where are you? Tundra Hellite 3 is going to... One, two, three, four, five... It's rushing towards you, Arden. You've already used your reaction this turn. I have. Rushes towards you, takes an attack. Misses! Hooray! <laughs> the Arden's having no trouble. It's like, I don't know what's going Emmanuel. on. Emmanuel! <laughs> Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna run back over here. Okay. I'm gonna cast Inflict Wounds on Tundra Hellite 4. Do it. Where is Where is Hit me. Hit me. Hit me. And. Humblast him. I missed. I uh, blast him. There we go. Fired again. <laughs> that hits. <I'm> Fired again. <laughs> <laughs> so close to a crit. And I blast him. Right. You put nice. your hands up towards him. You use it. You do exactly their hit points. Uh, they oh, yeah. they kind of writhe for a second and then they detonate. Don't stab Marley. I uh, use quicken spell, and I. Cast Chaos Bolt <laughs> on Jasper and don't kiss my friend. <laughs> <laughs> no. Only I can do that. <laughs> Roll away. Oh! oh, no! oh no! Yes! Okay. Yes! You always crit on Chaos Bolt. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't oh, yell for anything. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Heckin'. Oh, what damage type are we doing? Let's roll for that. All right, the eights. Bam, I need to roll two more because I crit. So which which one would you like to do? Ah, uh, let me take a look at my lovely list. One, six, five, and eight. Uh, one. Got a good spread. Good spread. One, six. Nah, poison doesn't seem like a good idea. Uh, acid seems fun. Uh, five. Lightning. Uh, eight. Uh, let's do lightning. Lightning seems fun. Hell yeah. Okay. Alrighty. Oh, 13. She's a flying type. So I add those to each to the modifier window and then uh, roll the lightning damage and the crit should automatically parse. Me. So. Good oh, fucking you, damage. You deal 28 damage reduced to 14, I'm afraid. God oh damn. my god. Because they are yeah, resistant to lightning. lightning. I should have went with acid. You should have. It's true. Yeah. It would have been funnier because you're pretty. And However, I hate you. you got a crit, right? Yes, embedded deprivation. Do it. Get cursed, nerd. Woo. Rolled against Sticky him. You dumb nerd. <laughs> they succeed, but ah, crap. Works Fuck. for works for, for one round. Round. Uh, they are going to be blind. Do it. You throw it at them. It Whoa. hits them. It uh, soars towards them, and there's a blast of lightning that causes their eyes to glaze over as they do. They put their hands up and they briefly like wave their own hand in front of it. Um, and that's uh, that's them. Is that you? Uh, let's see, I moved. That's your action and bonus action. To get there, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go. Heckin. That won't stop anything. I'm gonna do it anyways. I'm gonna go there with the rest of my movement. Alrighty. Oh. Alright, that's me. Alright, Hell I 2 is gonna go. Hell I 2 is going to go for an attack on Arden. Tries to attack, hits, gets a natural nat uh, natural 19. It is going to uh, add extra damage to the attack on account of it having an ally nearby. Ah, Strikes at you. Arden, you take 24 damage. Ow. Jesus, these guys hit hard. Yep, whenever when they... they have friends, yeah. <laughs> yep. Hellite number five is going to go. He's going to fire at Arden. Oh my God. He is. Fires at Arden. Natural two misses. Nice. Good. Arden. Ah. Oh, <laughs> hmm. 
Okay. I will what remind kind of you in case they've been doing with their uh, with their claws. Uh, like, they've been, they been all their attacks have been doing. Um, they've been doing piercing with the arrows and slashing with the, uh, the with the blades, and also everything does an extra one d four cold. Got it. I will note if it's worth your time. You knew found out they were vulnerable to fire last time you fought them. Mm hmm. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to uh, drink my mutagen actually. Um, I want to be resistant to slashing damage. All right, bonus so. action. Ooh. Drink that. Glug. Drink it on up, up, up. Glug, 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 glug. Nom, 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 nom. You drink it as you do. You feel this almost scale-like pattern form on your uh, on your skin. <sighs> All right. Uh, I'm gonna go after uh, <laughs> the boy in front of me because I don't want them to be doing extra damage on me. Wait, aren't they with Dr. Pepper? Mutagen really calms the shakes. <laughs> of course. No, I sense. test you. Yep. <laughs> you did this. This is my fault. This is your fault. That's so you know. Is that you? Yep. Alright. Oh, Gino, God. please make a death save. Oh, we're back at it again with the death. Gino, service. get up! You're gonna just leave up a 13-year-old boy alone in the middle of a blizzard, in the middle of a city, and oh no, he's dying! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no! Man. That's uh... it. All right. How many hit points are you at? Not a whole heckin' lot. Um, they are going to, they're going to move, they're going to look to you and they're going to try to get out of your range Arden, so if you want to attack them, you can get a reaction attack against them. Uh, yeah. Which one is trying to leave? Jasper. Jasper. Oh, Jasper. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna fucking get him. Uh, point of favor. And... Ah, oh. misses. Ah, oh, why can't we hit things? <laughs> uh. I mean, I've been pretty okay at hitting things. It's gonna get Let's over get to there. You. Once it gets away from you, it heads towards Emmanuel. I mean, it didn't tell me mm. not to murder her. <laughs> I wasn't told not to murder her, right? Like, she wasn't the one that, that, no, that, that right. That, that's actually true. I wasn't told not to murder. Not no, to I'm. Mean, that's that's. A, you were not told. Let's go. You, if you you're charmed by Violet, not by Jasper, so you, you can. Nice. It's the loophole. Yep. That's hey, one, I'm that's supposed what to murder those guys. Get back here. <laughs> <laughs> Breaks out of his I was just too hell? fucking dumb to know that. What the fuck did I just throw out? You just attacked Gina. You attacked. <laughs> I, I just omni slashed everyone. You, uh, you attacked Gino. Why did you have advantage? Because she's blind. Right, she is! Yeah. Uh, so, I'm down. D target. Wait, shouldn't I have had advantage on her if she has. You she should blind? have, yes. Aaron, did you actually apply it? Uh, yeah, I clicked on it. Yeah, it's, uh, it's maybe all because it all lasts around, maybe it, like, when no, I ended my turn, I'm up. No, it's on oh. them. It worked, it worked for me. Yeah, I, I know that. Yeah. Um, I'm just saying it should have worked for him at that point. Yeah, I did correct. <laughs> um, well, would I, a 15 have hit? Oh, you didn't roll against her. You rolled against the Hellite. Oh, yes, whoops. <laughs> let's 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 rewind for a sec. Uh, a fifteen, okay. a fifteen. Yeah. What to do? Would have just hit. So Arden, one, you go ahead and roll your damage. Okay, cool. I'm gonna and untarget the, Tundra Hellite. Yeah. And target this lady here. All right. We have reverse causality. It's <laughs> fine, fine fiend. Okay. It's four damage. Uh, and then Nicolo, uh, go ahead. Make sure you're not targeting Gina when you do this. Go ahead and roll your machete damage against Jasper. This is also a crit. It's true. Yeah. Jasper's down. <gasps> As they try to get by you, Arden strikes them. It knocks them off center. And for a brief second, much to... Uh, you would think, much to Violet's dismay, you bring your machete down and you strike it into Jasper and pin them down to the ground. There is an exhausted look on their face when it happens, and as they're, like, reaching up towards you and trying to claw at you, the last thing you hear from them is just being like, I never liked you. 
I don't one. even know who you are. Well, I'm not <laughs> talking to you. I'm talking to Nicola. <laughs> They're blind. <laughs> um, just like as she says that, it's just like, nice to meet you too. You hear Violet <laughs> continuing to laugh, amused by the death of uh, of Jasper. Okay. Sorry, she was in my way. <laughs> oh, that yeah, that puts it at your turn, Marty Lake. Uh, yeah, no, yeah, and I'm I'm looking at uh, Earth Tremor again. So <laughs> I was I, told just... to murder you. <laughs> I was told out loud to murder you. <laughs> yeah, you were. You can uh, stop me. <laughs> uh huh. Why would she okay. do that? <laughs> there's, there's reason she's not, but I'm gonna All move right. over here because if I do Earth Tremor, does that mean Violet is 15 feet in the air? Bitch! <laughs> 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 now I have to rethink my entire strategy and I have the strategy in my head for the past two turns <laughs> it was so smart until it wasn't <laughs> I have That's a most really go. I have a really good <laughs> hold on <laughs> hold on <laughs> get that cat sleep <laughs> sleep <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do. My plan I cast is spoiled. Leave. <laughs> you, cast, you have, uh, if you cast Shatter, I'll let, that would hit just her because oh, yeah. of where she is in the air. I do have Shatter, don't I? <laughs> you wouldn't have even needed to move for that. Yep. Fuck. Thank you. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's do that. All right. This... Drag the Wait, saving. Wait, that's your damage. Yeah. Okay. Uh, drag, um, <laughs> drag the con save onto Jasper. Violet, rather. They fail! They hey. roll a four! Woo! Uh, by the way, Nick, uh, no, that was a crit, sorry, so that wouldn't have done it. I'm just, like, looking back at you guys' damage die to make, see if you got any things, but you didn't. Cool, you do, uh, eight damage to it, it hits them, uh, it hurts them. They aren't doing terribly... But at this point, they look concerned for their health as a eruption of thunderous damage uh, emanates out from just above them. Um. Make sure to take off second level spell slot. Yeah. And then me thinks uh, we are going to heal Arden boy. Alrighty. Thank you. Here you go, Arden. Have <laughs> six. Thanks. The heels aren't great today. Zero. <laughs> the heels aren't great today. The attacks aren't great today. I'm doing my best. But everything else is great today. <laughs> Nothing is good. The outfits, though, on point. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alrighty. Is that you, Marile? I think that is me. Yeah. Nicolo. <laughs> Great job, Marile. I have a question. <laughs> yep. I just have to attack her, right? You have to take care of her. I will let you know that these charms are not like you can't loophole around the wording, Cody. It's like no, mostly no, no. Intention. I'm not trying to loophole around the wording. I'm, I'm, I don't have to like take any sort of route to do that. I can, I can do whatever I want. Other than that, like, <laughs> you need to pursue the most order. direct path. The, the order is to kill her. Okay. <laughs> I was trying to see if I could get like. There's no, there's no. But she's dying of old age, so I'll no, wait her to death. No, that's not what I was trying to do. I was, I was trying to see how many. I was trying to see how many opportunity attacks I could provoke on my way there. <laughs> well, I was, will note that as soon as you leave the area, Mama would take her cane out and strike you. towards you. <laughs> uh, and Mama would get a crit. Kill me. Fuck <laughs> Mama. As you roll by, Mama strikes you, you take six damage, as you just hear a For goodness sake, knock it off, Nicolo! And it strikes you, please roll me the wisdom save. Yes! As Mama yes! strikes you in the back of the head, you will go the five feet, you snap out of it. <clears throat> Thank you, Mama! He's gonna drop his machetes and pick up his rifle again. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Just go ahead and not do not go over there. <laughs> da -da -da -da. And I'm gonna blow this bitch away. <laughs> you are just drawing a line. You are not. Heckin'. Am I not? 
What is going on here? You were drawing. You, you were you dragging body. Drag oh well, it yeah. was on. It was on Mario Land, so I thought I was. It, it, it's fine. It's just I'm just gonna murder. Don't worry about it. So where are you going? I'm just gonna shoot. <laughs> All right. Uh, using a plus one bullet, uh, I'm going to activate uh, Hunter's Mark. <laughs> Go for it. Okay. And do I put the other one on her? I think. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Good. And uh, let's let's hope that I let's hope that I get a, that I get a good roll. Let's hope that I don't uh, arden it up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm savage. That's a hit. <laughs> Hiya! Oh my goodness! Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Mama. Points up. <laughs> as you fire, as you fire, you aim up towards her. Um, there is just a moment of her being like, "I thought that I told you to," and then the bullet strikes them. They recoil back as they are flung. The bullet going straight through their heart. They collapse down, uh, landing about over there, rolling to a a, st a standstill. Their blood coating the snow as it rolls across it. I only listen to one unreasonable woman. Alright, and you look like you need help. <laughs> I'm going over there. <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. Yeah. Actually, no, I don't go over there because I don't have my weapons because I dropped them. I'm going to be over here. <laughs> <laughs> Mama's going to go. Mama's going to step out to here. Thank you, Mama. Mama's going Mama, to... So good. She's going to cock the shotgun and she's going to fire at both of those hellites. And she's going to only hit one of them. She's going to hit number three. I wasn't Briar selling a shotgun. I want a shotgun now. <laughs> Fires. It gets hit. Nice. It gets blown and becomes a splatter across the door. All right. That's a peckin'. Tundra Hellite 1. Theo is coming for you. Hi. Brings his blade up. Brings it down on you. Not once. Idiot. You're up, Theo. <laughs> Hi. So we're gonna try this again, alright? And a bail? <laughs> I should have put style points into that. That's what I was gonna do, and that's Theo. what I was planning this whole time. But, you know, I didn't say it, so... Theo! Yes? Can I Why help so you? Bad? <laughs> oh, it's just me. <laughs> <laughs> I've been emotional distraught all day. I wonder whose fault that is. Listen. Oh, <laughs> oh beans. <laughs> oh, fucking. What was I gonna do? Fucking. I'm looking at the wrong thing. Give me half a shepherd. Half a bread. 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 It's like a cunning vertical or overwhelming advance. You could overwhelming advance. I could. Do I want to? Kinda. Yeah. Alright. Take off the points. Roll another attack against him. Can I put style points into it? Technically, the ability isn't that you roll another attack, it's that you roll a d20 and yeah. use it in place, so I'm afraid that, that we're already past that threshold. I had to try. Yep, I get you. Yeah! It was worse! It still misses. That's fine. Oh, Don't swing at me! Oh, Theo. I'm sorry, I... Emmanuel. I'm here to help, and now I'm gone to help! And I'm gonna run... here. Then down here. Uh, and then, oh, that's on a point. It is oh, going no. to attack you as you leave. That's fine. It is going to crystal blade at you, ha! And it misses. I get there. I'm on a target Tundra Hellite 5 with a ring of water. Oh, here we go! Let's do it! I go click, and I go click, I go table, and I go enlarge. And you get fairy fire. Fairy fire! <laughs> oh, hey! Oh, that's easy. Uh,. <laughs> I'll save are you fair fire dex or wisdom more or whatnot? I believe it's dex, I think. Let's do We change that. The cat appears, it jumps off of your arm, its body dissolves into all sorts of sparkles and uh, flashing rainbow lights that then shoot towards the creature and it tries to duck out of the way, but it does so successfully. <laughs> it tries to duck rainbow! out of the way, but it does. <laughs> but things are pretty pretty over there. Yep. My gosh, is it fabulous over there for several seconds. <laughs> <laughs> is that you? 
Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Tundra Heli 2 is going to go for an attack on Arden, except he's going to do the old Hwa. Yo. Pax's move. Circles around you, goes what? for an attack. Hits. Oh no. Hits. Oh no. Deals oh, no. 12 damage. Reduced oh, no. down to 8 because of your resistance. Hell yeah. Hellite 5 is going to go, and Hellite 5 is going to fire a arrow, and it's going to fire it at a manual. Shooting it back through the things, it misses. <laughs> Arden. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and beat up a dude. It's time to die. It's time to die. It is time. I'm the Norda die. boy. I am going to take an ice bath after this game. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The only fan I have in here, I have pointed at my mixer so it doesn't over- Oh my goodness, Arden! Arden! I'm sorry! Oh! There well, there's go. the other side of the equation! Uh, Between that! Gain two style points, and... Coming in strong. You strike it, you deal 12 dead? damage. It's not dead. Of course it's not. Ah! <laughs> Is that you? Why won't it be dead? <laughs> All right, that's my turn. <laughs> I think you'll find miss, we want it to be I dead. I miss multi-attack. <laughs> <laughs> Those oh. were the good old days. Gino! <laughs> roll me a death save! Gino! Oh my god, Gino! <laughs> oh. Gino's not doing well. Gino, please. Muddy lay. Well, it's a good thing that Gino isn't doing well, because now that the other two bitches are dead, it means that he's on, not on the VFX anymore. Right. It's true. So I'm going to kill Gina. It's <laughs> a good idea. <laughs> I'm going. Here you go. You can have it. <gasps> nice. Nice heal. There you go. I love you. Gina. Come <laughs> <laughs> back on. Um, hey Gina, roll me a perception check. Perception okay. check. Okay. Kill me. Perception. Bear, 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 bear. So Gina. Huh. Uh, can I steal you for a sec? Oh okay. no! Sure. No. All right, my boy. As uh, as this happens, and as you wake up, looking straight up above you, uh, you notice something that the others had not. You notice that against the light that is coming through from the sun, uh, piercing through the storm, uh, there is. Did you did you see the shadowy figure in the sky before? Arden head, right? A uh, shadowy figure in the sky? I don't think so. Okay. You notice a figure. Arden briefly described there being somebody hanging out up above the city. You briefly notice a figure that um, has a feminine form, two large wings that uh, seem to have this, like, patterned fabric acting as the sinew uh, between the, um, the, heckin', the fleshy bits of the wings. Um, mm -hmm. As your eyes focus and you come to and you stand, you see... Arms crossed, they look like they're sort of reclining, like legs pointed together, uh, looking down towards what you all are doing rather contently. You see this figure oh. come into focus. Woman wearing, um, with uh, dark gray skin, describing for the people at home, uh, of her dark uh, gray skin, uh, very bright red hair. Wings that, when you look at them and you catch them closely, have, like, a lace pattern as the sinew between them. And a long, coiling, red, chain-like, um, construct that's hanging off one of their arms that twists, and you notice that as she's floating, it seems to be moving around as if it were, like, a tail or a serpent. You can just see her looking down at you, observing what you guys are doing. I'm gonna throw you back. You're, uh, not able to immediately relay that. Okay. Hey guys. One of me around here. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Miley Day, is that you? That was your bonus action. Uh. uh Eric! Excuse me. There he is. <laughs> uh, I, heal, I heal him first, and then, uh. Yeah, I'll say, I'll say that's me. Okay. You don't want to attack anything or anything? Uh, oh yeah, I can do that. Uh, okay, the, this thing. Bang, bang. Um. Where's my action? I was already on bang, the bang. bang bang. 
if I mean light revolver, to drag it to this. That is a miss, I'm afraid. Oh. That's okay. All right. We're not allowed to hit no, things can... today. All right. Assuming that's you, Nicolo. Uh, I can probably only pick up one of my uh, my machetes, right? I'll say give a both for the sake of taking the action. I pick up. But, oh, if, for, if you'd have to action. drop your gun, though. Yeah. Is it, is it? Will it be my action to pick them up? Uh, we'll say dropping the gun is a free action. We'll say picking them up is the same interaction. Gotcha. Then. I'm gonna go for an attack on this boy. And then try to move on to the other boy if this one dies. <laughs> uh, oh wait, no, before I attack, uh, move my move my hunter's mark to him. Alrighty. It's your bonus action to do so. Yep. Okay. Uh, that misses, I'm afraid. You know what? It's fine. <laughs> is that you? Uh, yes, because I had to use my bonus action to move my mark. All right, Mama Marigold is going to look over towards this one. Gets to here, aims the gun. Fires. You are getting way better than somebody with a plus four should be getting, Mama Marigold. <laughs> <gasps> Just She's Mama. Walks over, mama. aims, fires. Ooh. It takes twelve damage. You hear a, a just a screech from that hellite as it gets hit by the shotgun. <laughs> Mama Marigold is Mama made of gold. It's true. The hellite's going Mama to attack Theo. Goes for an attack, misses. Theo. Hi. So, you're being kind Hello of there. a bitch, and I'm really upset with you. Today's been a whole time. So, hmm. Do I? Spend a day. It's been a bit of a day. This is not my perfect Sunday. <laughs> hey, my perfect it's Sunday. Exactly. It's not my perfect Sunday. <laughs> um. Technically. Huh? Okay. If I were to burning hands him, he's he right at the tip of my cone there. So hi, y'all. <laughs> Make a save, nerd. <laughs> yeah. It succeeds, so it'll take half. Roll the damage. I'm fine with that. Yeah. It takes half, Bye. which is then doubled. <laughs> Back up. Uh, so yep. it takes 12, because 13 half rounded down, then doubled again. Yeah, you take it down. You put your hands out, fire courses from your fingertips, and you let out a wave of flame that erupts it, and it seems to just melt. <laughs> I'm yours! Is, I did it! Is that you? You did it! I did it! Finally! Come on! I did it! I'll know hug you later! But yeah, that's Hooray. me! Hooray! Yep. Emmanuel? Yay! Uh, he's gonna run right over here. And he's gonna point the Ring of Wonder at the Tundra Heli. Uh oh! I said. <laughs> well, goodbye. <laughs> Wrong <Yeah. end. laughs> so for each creature in that area, I can see must make a succeed a so thirty. <laughs> thirty feet around you would be you, Mama, and it. That would be centered on it, but yeah, I think of it. Just uh, the target. same people. Yeah. Uh, no, I know it says it doesn't. It says it extends from you in a oh, thirty-foot radius. Yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Alrighty, I'll stop myself. <laughs> Him and Mama and Ooh. Ooh. Constitution. Switch that heavy throw. Your eyes, your eyes are blind. Yeah. <laughs> you both succeed. It fails. Hooray! <laughs> And where's my blinded button? You would be right, 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 right darkness, right. Uh, Do you have one for that? Near the bottom somewhere. Maybe not. Restrained, petrified. Petrified is the end. Oh, they're not in order that way. Problem is, there's like a million of them. I'll just drag it onto them. Uh... 
Shimmering Lights. It's the third from the bottom. Third from the bottom? Oh, you're right. Wait, before you apply it, though, before you apply it, I just saw an error. Okay. There you go. Now do it. Mm, oh, wait, no. Shimmering. It's still wrong. Okay. Cons. All right, wait. Hold. Okay. Now... Constitution. I see. <laughs> Been there. <laughs> Constitution. All right. Mm, yeah. <laughs> All right, ba bam. Um, I, I partially fall over when I flashbang myself slightly, <laughs> and that's me. <laughs> All right, number five is gonna go. Number five is going to attack Arden again. Strikes towards number you, four. misses. Number two, number two nice. my bad. Number five is going to claw at his own eyes for a second, and then haphazardly <laughs> he's going to fire an ice arrow in the direction of Mama Marigold. He does oh. so, he misses. As it goes at her, she raises the shotgun and shoots it out of the sky. He rolled a one uh, as it comes towards her. Arden. What an idiot. He succeeds. He's no longer blinded. That ah, crap. <laughs> All right, Ian. Uh, it's time to do a hurt. At least attempt to. Um, favor. Her style point, right? How dare you. Favor. Listen. <laughs> that degenerated system. <laughs> die. That's a hit. I uh, you would hope die. so. Oh, come hey. on, he was... There you go. Oh, doesn't matter. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> you got him. All right. And I'm going to run over here. <laughs> and then I'm going to beat that guy up. Go for it. Notice action. Hey. Oh, that's a course. miss. Uh, well, that's my turn then. Gino? Oh, okay. He's going to quickly gain awareness of what the fuck is happening around him. He's going to stand. He's going to look down at his hands, realize he has control over himself again. He's going to fucking... Shake with rage as he summons his echo over by this fucking hellite over here. Let me grab that echo of yours. Here comes the echo. And he is an ally to all. There you go. I'm just gonna make sure that I can get over here so he can actually not lose it immediately. You rush over towards him, your echo peels off of you and takes solid form near it. Alright, and I'm gonna... <laughs> he got the first Holy attack shit. in the battle, is he gonna get the last? Oh, and will those man. be his only two hits of his own volition? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't have any fucking thing to win. Alright, fucking... That's a hit. On. That just hits. Fuck yes! Gino, how do you want to do this? Yes! He is going to... It's gonna appear in front of him, towering over him. It is going to... Kick it down to the ground. And it is going to... Just begin wailing... Over and over and over again with the great sword, repeatedly. Way more than is necessary. And just... In rage. <laughs> Little blood splatter goes on to Arden. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh. As you do, you see it get reduced to pieces, and it starts to chip away as if its body were entirely made of ice. As you do, Marile. I am alive still. As things <laughs> settle down a bit, you find yourself breathing heavily. Your demonic abilities are causing the wound in your chest to heal somewhat, but breathing is still difficult given where you were stabbed. You hear, coming from the ground back behind you, um, Violet just barely croaking out. That's fine, I guess. We've wasted so much time here, but at least we'll die knowing Marile. That when she finds you, a half-breed, that you will meet the same fate as- As she says that, there's a cutting sound. The sound of muscle separating. And you see on the ground where she was lying through her throat, 
this basically throwing knife, this almost kunai-looking uh, knife of reddish-pink arcane energy strikes into her throat. As it does, there's a moment of silence, and then several right more there. several more rain down on them, piercing into their body. Small little eruptions of snow each time they hit, and then they begin trailing towards and hitting uh, and hitting Jasper as well, leaving their bodies on the ground relatively mutilated. What the? I'll never understand what they held against me. Maybe it's because I was prettier. Looking towards where those things were coming from. Yeah, as you look <laughs> up, Arden. You see the same figure that you saw in the sky before, but closer up this time. As you look up, you see with the same grayish tone to their skin as the succubi that you just fought, um, but with a very distinct look to their body, a woman uh, wearing like full blackish and gold leather, a clawed gauntlet on one hand, and around the other one, around the other arm, there's wrapped this coiled serpent-like chain that ends with a blade. You see between their fingers more of these throwing knives that they seem to generate they have wings that spread out uh, many times longer than their body, and the sinew uh, in the wings isn't flesh, in, rather than it looks to be uh, a lace pattern. They have striking red hair, two black horns that curl from the back of their head and point forward, and an incredibly sultry look to them. Uh, whenever you look up towards them, you guys see... this figure uh. floating a couple of hundred feet uh. above you, condescendingly but amused. Looking down towards what happened. Oh. Hi, Lilith. <laughs> you see them. Slowly turns. You see them raise up their hand and generate more of these arcane daggers in their hand. A superior, um, amused look across in their face as they raise their hand up, and then all of you just hear in the distance a very faint, Lilith! Lucifer! Where are you? As they hear that, they seem to look off to the side. Seemingly as if being called by a boss or parent, annoyed, then look back to all of you. Later, then. I target. <laughs> you want to do that? I do. I, I don't consider I don't consider these things to be sacred. If you are, what's the range on it? Because they're about two hundred feet above you. Ah, it's one hundred and twenty. I'm pretty I'm sure. I'm sorry, then. Damn it! <laughs> I would have let you do it if they were within range. Funny. As they do, as they would have died. as they turn towards the lot of you. Uh, and they turn away. You just hear an echoing, this a telepathic ring through all of your minds. Later then. And the snow seems to get thicker around them, and whiteout conditions cause them to seem to disappear, and you lose sight of them above you. I will say, Marile, whenever you saw that, there was a sensation in the back of your mind. When, you when the others talked about having to obey, like the progenitor of their demon kind, you felt a compulsion... Uh, briefly to follow what this person said. There's like a feeling of authority from them. You did, you could resist it fairly easily. It was just a nagging feeling in your mind. But being half-blooded, you can only imagine what a full succubi would feel in this situation. Just after she's gone, just plops onto the snow, just like, uh, uh, okay. Is everyone all right? I should be asking everybody else that. You all almost died. She oh. says bleeding on the fucking <laughs> snow! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're fine. You just had your chest opened up. It's fine. I got, I got yeah, like, I got hey. like hit by a Gino. Hey. I'm kidding. Hey, I, hey. <laughs> I, I am fine. I'm better off than those two. <laughs> yeah, Points off to wherever talking. the hell they, those two fucks were. That was me mm -hmm. talking. <laughs> no, but I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't know who you're answering. Uh, <laughs> anyway. Are the bodies of the two succubi still here? Or they are they present. As well? uh, they look like they're disappearing, as demon bodies uh, generally tend to do. Um, you notice that they are in chunks. They were mutilated by the hail of these knives coming down. I'm guessing the knives are disappearing, too. Yes, they are slowly vanishing, flickering away into ethereal pinkish energy one by one. 
I guess that was Lilith. I guess so. Oh. If they were a little closer, I would have had them. Uh, I don't know if that would have been the best idea, Manny, but I'm, I'm sure you would have hit them. Slowly hugs Arden as promised. No. Speaking back. of hitting, you hit pretty hard, big guy. Gino's just looking down at his hands, kind of trembling, not even responding to you. You're right there, bud. You owe me one. <sighs> this keeps happening. Hmm? What Gino? does? I keep being used. Hmm. That wasn't no, your fault. Yeah, there's not a lot we can we can do about that against our will. If it wasn't for Mama, I would have done the same thing you did. If it was not for Mama, you would have gotten yourself killed, Nicolo. Marile would have seen to do much worse to you than I would have. Uh, she would have woken me up if you can wake me up. Hmm. I have a feeling that if it wasn't for Mama, you'd be dead like several times over. You hear the sound of the shotgun loading. <laughs> 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 oh, I've already no, said didn't. thank you, gosh! <laughs> With that, if any. <laughs> and on that general note. I think, uh, with all of you briefly noting, off in the distance you can see Mount Yama through the storm, all of you briefly can make out this red flicker on it that you recognize as probably being Inanna, um, partway up it, near a, what looks to be like, uh, from what you can see from here, like, a mining facility. You can see construction equipment and whatnot. As you guys look to that and consider what's ahead of you, we're gonna call that session, since we went a bit long. Um. <sighs> Just touch. Hooray. If any character in any Nat 19 campaign was just a Krogan, it's fucking Mama Marigold. <laughs> <laughs> you deserve <Yeah>. art. <laughs> she <laughs> totally does. does. I, do, I, 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 I agree. We'll it. see. <laughs> I wanna. I wanna. I wanna mommy, Mama Marigold. Uh, <laughs> you know, sitting there like save mama no, from strippers. No, save actually, strippers from mama. The actual winner, <laughs> the actual winner of the poll is a ride-in. It's Mama Miracle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, by the way, we're going to consider that to be the end of mission three. So you're all going to level before next game. Hooray! Hooray! Fuck yeah! Beat feet. time, bitch! Oh, I have to take tough. Because <laughs> yes, the one thing so this party do doesn't have enough of is hit points. Yeah. Well, I certainly don't anymore. Oh, uh, I will note. Spoiler tag: When you take a long rest, it'll fix itself. Oh, okay, cool. The, um, <laughs> if Succubi could permanently take hit points from people, like permanently, they would be so dangerous. Like, oh my On god, that yeah. level, like, basically there are nothing that can do that. Basic, but, like, they don't do 20 damage. They, like, they bear, there basically isn't. Like, there's ones that reduce it, but it's always, like, until greater restoration, or what have you, or until removed. Well, yeah. There's very few creatures that are just, like, they're Forever. gone. Forever. In yeah. fact, I, don't, I can't think of any. I, I remember we encountered a couple in Tomb that could reduce them. I don't know if that was permanent. That would, they, that would be yeah. until greater well, restoration. because of the death curse, it was permanent. Yeah. Right, that's right, yeah. Oh, yeah. let's heck and get some credits going. Goodness. I'll, yeah. What a good time. I'll yeah. be back. I'll be You're right a good back. time. I got him. Yeah, heckin'. You, <laughs> you enjoy, you guys enjoy today's game? Not? I didn't. I was up in the air about exactly how things were going to go today. You guys mostly controlled the pace of all that. That's fun. Got introduced to some minor villains. We Then we got introduced to a fucking major villain. And... Army of One, thank you. Mwah. Oh my goodness. Mwah. Thank you so much, Mama's a treasure. Yeah, she is. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> To be I, a 13 year old witch in a strip her. club. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, man. And where's my credits button? Squeaky. Just fucking, oh, yeah! yeah. Just fucking riding the stripper pole down. <laughs> Reminder to anybody at home that if you want to purchase the image that you currently see behind the credits in the form of a poster or a Yay. cup or a million other things, uh, check our Redbubble storefront where it is available as a full image. What's what? in fan art chat? Uh, the modulae of the pool. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. So cute. <laughs> don't from That's true. Man, they if were. They don't respect good said, please. Please fuck the putas up. Fuck the putas. I love she, it. Jerry Springer, she called you a puta. A puta. Oof. Fucking. Like the bread, that's pita. Ah. Oh. Ah. Uh. <laughs> well, that game was intense in a lot oh, of ways. No, that was totally fun. <sighs> really, really fun. Oh, Lay of the pool. I <laughs> love Lay. I'm Marilay. I speak of for the, the pool. pool. <laughs> I speak for the pool. <laughs> Gosh. Oh, it feels good to be back the after the a month. It sure does. I can't fucking believe it's been a month. Doesn't feel like a month. Yeah, it doesn't. Well, it doesn't. It feels like forever, but I don't know. It's. I also feel like we've played a lot of DMS. If you know what I mean, like it doesn't. It feels like we've done more than mm -hmm. seven sessions. Mm -hmm. uh, someone says in chat, Logan, you might want to add a disclaimer or a preface to the YouTube upload of this session. I, I, I know. Oh well. Hmm. Huh? Oh, you guys don't know. Um. The succubi That's charming suggestive. stuff got a bit intense. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> they got handsy. They oh. got very handsy. And heckin', are we here to do succubi stuff or aren't we? Um, I, no, see, I'm completely fine. I know what I signed up for playing a succubi. Yeah, that's, so. why when I, when I sent you, that's why when I sent you back, uh, Cody, I, I briefly just talked about how everybody at the table had had session zero, that we all generally understood what was happening, that I would plan to touch base with people later, that we, apo uh, that we apologized if it was uncomfortable. Um, just in general, like, this stuff is part of the fantasy, and it it's what Succubi do. Like, they are the and lack of consent monster. Cry. And it's Devil May Cry. <laughs> However, yeah. I just wanted to take a moment to be like, if anyone feels uncomfortable about it, understood. We're not going to try to say you shouldn't. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, there's no way for us to know when that kind of stuff's going to come up, because, like, it they would have gone to basic... One a, of the main villains is a succubus. A, you mentioned <laughs> Lilith around them, which I you may not have done, and they wouldn't have done anything. B, um, if you guys had... Uh, if two other people had split off from the group, which is why I asked where everybody was, they would have gone after them. So, huh. it's, it was totally a matter of circumstance. <sighs> can we get more sub-badges for the year two pluses? I will do what I can. Goodness. Goodness gracious. Goodness gracious, my boys. Goodness, so good. So, who are we rating, Aaron? Are, are, yeah, we should. Yeah, I'm not Rating forgetting anything. Time. Are we still doing the YouTube recording? Or uh, yes. Sorry, we should definitely cut that out first, shouldn't we? Um, yeah. So people, also people. <laughs> oh, I'll mention this since we stop it. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> so yeah, YouTube side. We will see you guys later. Thanks for joining us. We're ha happy to be back with more DMS. Um, Hell yeah. Hope everybody had fun. I did. Goodbye. No. Yeah, so long, Ooh. everybody. Bye, buddy. Oh, I love the image in the background. I just saw it. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> and, ba-bam. <laughs>